Hi everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome to another live stream. We're playing Oxygen Not Included for the second time this week because there was a new update added to the beta branch for Oxygen Not Included today. Uh, there was an announcement that came out uh, just yesterday to let us know that we'd have access to the oil upgrade in the beta branch, so we're going to jump in and start a brand new game with that. Now, there's a whole bunch of new stuff that's been added in with this. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a new world just because I want to make sure we get access to all the new things that are available in the game. Uh, so we can kind of run around and play and test with those. Oh my gosh, look, they've even got the exosuits on in the little uh, in the little cartoon at the beginning. That's sweet. So I'm going in blind. I don't know anything about it. Um, well, I, I, that's not entirely true. I do know a little bit about it, but I haven't tested with any of it yet. So it'll be kind of fun to play around and see what we can do with it, what kind of stuff we can unlock and how it all works. Uh, I'm just going to go with a standard game. Oh, I actually want to set up the... Um, in the options, you can do a world generation key. So I'll randomize one of these and set this as my seed. So if you are interested in playing the the world that generates with this and you have oxygen unincluded yourself, you can use this key, I believe, in order to generate uh, your own world that is exactly the same as the one I'm going to start with. So if I uh, if I die horribly, maybe you'll uh, maybe you'll succeed where I didn't. <laughs> Clay should host. Well, the thing is, I don't. It's kind of late at night, probably for Clay. But uh, all right, so let's get a new game going. And see how this plays out. I didn't make note of that world seed. It's, so it prints it out here, but for some reason that looks different than the one I was just looking at. But it could be that my brain doesn't work very well. So super excited to play the new content. Um, now just so you know, this isn't the beta branch, so it's not the final version of what's going to come out. Um, there'll be doing some more tweaks and balancing, some other changes. Um, there might be some crashes, so be prepared for that. Uh, we'll see how it all plays out. Um, the nice thing about getting access to this is you get to kind of work around with it a little bit early. Uh, the unfortunate thing is sometimes it's, it can be a little bit unstable. So I'm going to try and find quickly find a, a decent dupe here, or a set of dupes. Oh, that one had two strength. I should probably try and find one that has a, a decent amount of strength because they get it gives them a nice benefit to carrying things around. Four strength, nine medicine, two athletics. That's pretty good. Gastrophobia. So they won't cook, but that's okay. They'll be good at running around and picking stuff up. They can be a caregiver. Plus five to medicine. All right, so this will come in handy. I have a feeling we might get a little sick, so it'll be handy to have somebody there who can help heal. Um, let's see. I want I want someone with a good good high learning amount, just because I want to research quickly. Oh, there we go. Irritable bowel. Uh, a little extra time to do their business, so bladder efficiency minus 50%. That's okay. They can spend a little bit of extra time in there. They're not worried about culture, which is good. And then I think for the last one, I mean, we can train up just about anything. Um, but this one looks pretty good. Three strength, seven digging, five triggering, gastrophobia. So only one of them, uh, you know what? I don't want two people that can't cook to start off with. Just in case. Two learning, one medicine, construction, cooking. All right. Narcoleptic, nope. I swear, I, this is this is like the thing that takes the most amount of time. Oh, that was a seven strength. I should have grabbed that. Slow learner. Uh, I don't really care about them being a slow learner. That's actually not, a, not much of a detriment to me. Uh, plus one immunity. All right, whatever. We'll go with this one. They're buff. They have plus five strength. Okay, let's name the colony. I'm just going to pick something random here that they offer. Besiege, Crash Pan, Ant Farm, Homestead, Committee, Crew. I feel like these ones aren't very all that all that interesting. The Ultra Moon Base, the Starving Home. Maybe throw out some ideas for what you want to name our colony because I'm not seeing any 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 that are jumping out at here that are looking super interesting to me. So what do you get for an artist? Can I have that one? Um, I don't I don't think I even have an artist at the moment. Uh, plus one creativity. Uh, we'll probably have to get an artist later on. Deep Water Horizon. <laughs> Call it Deep Water Horizon. The Death Star. The Trainwreck Comet. That's probably uh, you know what, in in homage to the 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 future Trainwreck. Let's call this the Trainwreck Comet. We'll see what happens with this thing. Oops, caps lock. Uh, I cannot type today. The Trainwreck Comet. All right, let's get it underway. So I'm going to try and rush through the early part of the game as much as we can so that we can try to get to the point where we can build things that uh, that are new. And so we can explore and try and find the new biome. So, wow, there is like no water. Okay, it's all up hiding up top there. All right, so jo job number one early on is going to be to get water. Uh, we have a little bit of oxalate here. Not too bad. Actually, I guess we can cut in here and this will, this will be a good starting area. I can build toilets over there pretty much right away. This is going to get a little sand in our face, but that's okay. Try to get to the high pressure vent so uh, they can put over 2,000 grams of gas. See, the high, there's so much they've added. So, like, um, a new biome, 
oil, new creatures, um, the exosuit, which I'm super, super excited to try out. Having little duplicates run around in those little exosuits just look awesome. Yeah, I don't have much allergy here. Um, I mean, there's more of it down below, but this is... This is not really the best seed. <laughs> we have very little algae here and only like small amounts of water. So I'm gonna have to bring all the water from up here down below so I can work with it. A couple shine bugs, that's handy. Yeah, this is good. This one might be a little bit tricky. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't name the dupes. Oh my gosh, I didn't name the dupes. How did I do that? All right, we need to name some dupes. Who wants to be a duplicate? Actually, you know what? Um. Ladies Game 2 will be our first duplicate. Thank you so much for sponsoring the channel today. So you can be uh, you can be the first duplicate. And then uh, let's rename Nails. Who wants to be in the in the duplicate? Or in the <laughs> in the colony rather. When's it starting? It already started. Unless I forgot to share the screen, but it should be good. B alright, Alex da Silva. There we go. We need one more duplicate. Who else wants to be in the colony? Uh, is this not even naming them? I don't think it is. <laughs> Hold on. That didn't name them. What's going on here? No. Nails. We want nails. Okay, no, we did name them. There's Alex. This isn't working very well. Come on. All right, hold on. I'm going to actually just pick the duplicates in here. So there's Ladies Game 2. There's Harold De Silva. Or, sorry, Alex De Silva. Oh, we have two of them named Alex De Silva now. All right, well, we're going to rename the scientist. Who else wants to be in the colony? Uh, uh, all right, Percy. Percy the hero. All right, good. <laughs> there, that was a whole lot more work than it should have been. Uh, oh, what's this? Balmy Lily. There's a new plant, too. That's cool. So we found something new already. Nice. Uh, we're going to need toilets pretty much right away. Uh, there's chlorine on this side, so I think I'll put the toilets maybe on this side, too. Actually, we'll dig, dig all this out, and maybe I'll put the toilets over here. Oh, man. Actually, I don't really want to dig on either side right now. I need to get this, uh, I need this algae. Plumbing outhouse. First things first. Give these, place, give these guys a place to go to the bathroom so they don't pee on the floor on me. Have I checked out Brother's Gothar's videos on any? So I've seen a couple of them. Yeah, um, I mostly just play. He does. Uh, he does a lot of experimenting and stuff in debug mode, which is cool because it's. He's got like uh, a lot of stuff he's done to figure out some of the specific math values and things of uh, elements of the game, which is really cool. Uh, did I make that four? I made that more than four high. One, two, three, four. Yeah, stop cutting that. Let's keep the sand up there for now. Okay, they have place to go to the bathroom, which is good. Really early on, I'm going to want to get this water down from above, so I'm going to try and make some space for that. Let's go over here and dig all this up. Try and get through this quickly. I am so excited to play the new stuff. I mean, it's not even that long since the uh, since the Outbreak upgrade came out, but it's cool to have access to all these uh, new things that they added to the game. And I love getting to try it out before it's really live, too. So what's the deal with the different rooms now? I don't know actually. There's there's so much in here that I haven't uh, I haven't learned. So because this just came out today, or it was, only became available today, uh, I haven't had a chance to play around with it. I had to work. So this is my first time kind of diving into it. Uh, I read a little bit to, so I could get a sense of the the different things they were adding. However, I don't know all the specifics yet. So we're gonna kind of experiment as we go along. Yeah, I, I didn't plan ahead for these particular dudes. What do you think about playing My Summer Car? Actually, yeah, I'd like to play My Summer Car. I really should get it. It does look like a really fun game. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm going to build a ladder like way down here. I'm going to try and send the water down low if we can. Um, no. Cancel that. I'm going to do the ladder like right here. Look at that. I even, I even managed to do it without making a derpy ladder. First time for everything for me. All right, we'll dig all this out. So this will this will accomplish a couple things. It'll give us a nice, nice spot for all of our CO2 to settle. We can get the plants that are down here, and we can build a reservoir for our water down below as well. Uh, because I'm going to dig upwards here, and get into these biomes. How's our oxygen doing? 
Good. I don't want to. I don't want to have an accident like we had at the beginning of the last colony, where I wasn't paying attention to the oxygen and let everyone die on cycle six. <laughs> What's my day job? Uh, I'm in uh, process improvement, so I uh, I spend a lot of time watching how our company does what we do, and then looking for ways that we can do it better to get a better result, be a little more efficient, uh, and a lot of stuff to do with customer satisfaction. Also, how many times have I restarted? You know, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know how many colonies I've had. So, I have a few hundred hours into the game, um, and I do enjoy starting new colonies. So, I've never run a colony to, like, cycle 500 or cycle 1,000 like some people have, because I, I enjoy starting new ones. So, um, I actually I don't know how many. It's got to be a really good number, though. I mean, uh, I wonder if I should put a wall over here to try to keep some of that heat from coming in. One week, six days till the upgrade. That's what it says, but it's available now to play around with, at least. It is Six Sigma stuff, that's right. So I um, I do Lean Six Sigma for, for our company. I'm much more on the Lean side than the Six Sigma side, though. For water storage, use airflow tiles. You don't need thick walls. That is very true. The airflow tiles won't break because they're aquaphobic. Uh, the Tricky Bar's going to be getting this little pocket of water. I guess I can get it to drain down into here, maybe, and then it'll run over. Um... What I want to do is just have all the water rush down the ladder here and fall right down to this reservoir at the bottom, and then we can build our water bottler and stuff down there. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Cool kids moped in my summer car. There's a cool kids mo oh, moped. Oh, okay. That's cool. Nice beach biome. Yeah, I found a beach biome. It's new. We got lots of sand. If nothing else, we can do, uh, we can do a lot of filtration. <laughs> Tons of sand. Okay, um... We're going to do another ladder on this side. So we can get down to where all this glorious metal is. Now, this is all a vacuum. So, unfortunately, as soon as I cut in here, it's going to draw away some of our oxygen. So, I'm going to be a little bit careful about that. But it's probably better to do it while we have oxalate to kind of restock everything rather than waiting until after. There goes a little oxalate. <laughs> Let's see if somebody will build the floor on top of it. Why does it still say Harold? How many times do I have to name this guy? Uh, am I a master black belt? I am not. I'm a green belt. Airflow tiles can take an infinite amount of water. Yeah, it's because they're aqua they're aquaphobic, so the water doesn't actually come in contact with them. It kind of hovers next to it. The chicken stripes. One to ten rating this game. I would definitely give this game a ten. I I play this so much. <laughs> I enjoy the challenge of it. I know some people have. Um, they get a little frustrated sometimes by the by how difficult it can be to manage certain things, but I, I really enjoy that kind of stuff. So for me, this this game's a 10. Now, that's not necessarily going to be true for everybody because obviously people have different preferences. But for me, totally a 10. I've gotten so much value out of this game. It cost me like 20 bucks to buy it, and I put hundreds of hours into it already. It's crazy. I need to re-long to apply the names. Oh, I see. So will I just have the name if I... Oh. It, sh it did show them. It's like when they went to sleep, the names went away. See, there's Percy the Hero. It's just Harold isn't keeping the name. And I don't remember who we named... What was Harold's name? Who did I name Harold after? Ah, I don't remember. If you were the person I named Harold after, shout out in the chat, because I can't remember what name I gave to Harold. But the other two kept their name. How's our oxygen? Oh, sweet. Look at that. Tons of air. And I can't... I can't WASD around. What's going on here? Uh-oh. I found my first bug. I can't move the screen. <laughs> Come on. It keeps picking Harold, regardless of where I click now. Oh, we found a bug. <laughs> bug number one. I have already, I'm already stuck. Oh, no. I might have to... I'm going to have to quickly reload the, reload the colony here. Chaotic moon base. No, that's not what I want. Future train wreck. No, I don't even have a save file. What? Oh, the, it's supposed to save every time they go to sleep. Why don't I have a save file? <laughs> There's something wrong there. Grew with subscribers really fast. Yeah, it's been a good. Uh, it's been a good year. You know, the channel really picked up starting in the fall or the spring rather, and it's uh, it's really been on a tear through the summer, which is great. Yeah, I broke the game already. I already can't. I can't move around. Oh, there we go. It, yeah, we're free. I don't know what the deal was there, but let's not click on Harold for a bit. Uh, okay, so they're gonna need a little more flooring over here. Give me the floors. Uh, and we should probably... Ooh, we got another duplicate. Who do we have? Alright, athletic digging. 
Five strength, four athletics. Ooh, look at this. Germ resistant, uncultured, and buff. And all they are is gastrophobic. So they won't cook, but they'll do everything else. I am perfectly fine with that. Who wants to join the colony and be this big, crazy, germ resistant buff dude? It's in the beta properties. Uh, only 100 hours, my brother did 400 on Monster Hunter. Oh, really? That's a, that's a lot of time to dump into a game. Uh, the new dupes are not... Oh, well, there is two. This one's artistic, but they have weak strength. And you can't train up strength, so I don't really want to take that because they carry less. Was Harold Percy the hero? Um, no, there's already a Percy the hero, so I'm not sure. Firestar. Let's name this one Firestar. There we go. Welcome to the colony. Okay, so we have... I should probably get started on the research early on. So I, as I understand it, the research tree changed around a little bit. Uh, and in order to access the supercomputer now, someone was saying before the stream started that we actually have to research it. So yeah, it's not not available now. So we'll go into the go into our research station and see what's different here, and then figure out what we need to do. It does sound like there's lots of cool stuff they've added in this update. I'm, I'm really looking forward to like um, when it gets all fine tuned and stuff. Look at your call a name. It is Chaotic Moon Base. Oh, it is. Didn't we? I thought we named it to something else. That's so weird. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's, it doesn't like to keep my duplicates names, and it doesn't like to keep my colony name, but that's okay. Wow, that is... Wow. Okay, that is a seriously big research tree now. Holy. Okay, so we d we'll definitely be keeping stuff around a lot longer. Uh, it looks like some of it they've just sort of split out a little bit. So we have a fossil fuels now, which is new. Advanced power regulation with heavy... That's heavy watt wire. Heavy watt wire tile. Allows heavy watt wire to be run through walls, which is cool. Um, and actually, that should help with managing the uh, the negative decor too. But man, that's a ton of research. We get animal control now, plastic manufacturing, um, liquid tuning. They just put it in its own category. Distillation. Okay, so it's definitely going to take us a lot longer to do research. So I'm glad I have someone who has a research skill of like eight or whatever it was. Uh, interior decor they have split out now too. So interior decor and artistic expressions are separate. Home luxuries, plastic ladder. Comfy beds. <laughs> it looks like a cat bed. Uh, and then plastic tile. Okay. So, I guess we'll start with... Wait a minute. Do we, do we not have a ration box? We'll stay with basic farming. Uh, and I'm going to modify my jobs and make sure that the person doing the research is the person who should be. There we go. Okay, so the rest of them... <laughs> the rest of them are now sleeping. <laughs> We need more WC toilet of this? I don't know how to read that. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot to do to play around with it. That research tree is huge now. Um, so they... It, I mean, it looks like a lot... It has a lot of the same elements in it, but... Oh, what's going on down here? That plant just had enough. I'm done. I'm out of here. I should get the... Uh, try to get the algae out of here, I guess. How is our oxygen? Still good. Okay, so I think we're ready to dump some water down here. Although, eh, yeah, it should all fit down there, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be good. <laughs> Let's sleep. More work. That's right. What was the environmental tab of the research? Um, I don't know. Hold on. Uh, decontamination, sanitation, agriculture, environmental protection. This one here? So there's the exosuit forge, exosuit dock, Build next to an exosuit checkpoint to make the duplicate change into suits when passing by. Oh, so cool. Exosuit checkpoint. Duplicates will equip a suit when passing by this building in the direction of the arrow. Um, so they'll, you can set this up at like your exit. So when they go in and out, they'll put a suit on. Almost like it really is an airlock now. That's so cool. I love how creative they are with this game. It just blows my mind the stuff they come up with. Um, all right, let's build the ladder upwards and get this water down here. It should fall straight down the chute, I think. I mean, well, some of it's going to spill out into these other areas, but it'll it'll get down there eventually. Might want to wait for the oxalate to be used up. Uh, I guess. I wonder what will happen with the oxalate underwater. Does it just stop producing? That might be handy later on. These two these two little shine bugs, unfortunately, are not going to have a good day. I kind of want to get more of this stuff too. I can't reach it though. Okay, first research is done already. Wow, that was fast. Okay, so let's get maybe the, uh, the advanced research ready, just so we have that on deck. There goes the water. That's perfect. Hopefully the shine bugs will fly out of there, because I'd kind of like to keep them around. 
How many dupes do I have? Uh, I have four. I like to I like to have normally around eight or ten. Might make the best dupe paradise. See, they got a beach. I mean, we're, we're just getting some water down there now. We need some umbrellas and stuff so they can hang out. Make sure they're uh, make sure they're super comfortable. That's not really a lot of a lot of water in the starting area. Reasonable amount of algae, but not a ton of that either. Hopefully, hopefully everything will go well today. With any luck, we'll even manage to get through without any crashing. How to breed shine bug? I, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty much you just you get what's in the game. It doesn't seem to be a way to get, find more of them. Mmm, mojitos. I wouldn't mind mojitos. Welcome to Dutch. Thanks so much for sponsoring the channel. Welcome to Dutch. I appreciate that very much. Time for new emoji. That's right. That gets us to five sponsors, which unlocks our second our second custom emoji. So, uh, all of the emojis that'll be that. Oh wow, there's a lot of water. That did it expand as it fell down there? That's crazy. Uh, let's use some ladders to get through here. Big man. I should probably dig a little more of this open. Uh, yeah, so with the custom emojis, um, for the people that sponsor the channel, you'll be able to use the custom emojis in the chat, and you get a fancy little cryptic fox face badge. And uh, as we unlock with more sponsors, we unlock more emojis. So that'll get us to our second one now, which is cool. And they all start with, like, cryptic and then whatever I name it. In terms of, like, the emojis that we're going to add, um, I'm kind of deciding based on a vote in uh, in the Discord server. So if, you, uh, if you're not currently uh, signed up with Discord and you'd like to participate in the chat... And, uh, and in the name of the emojis, or the uh, deciding the emojis and stuff, then certainly you can uh, you can go click on the link that's in the description below to access the Discord server as well. Oh wow, this research is going fast. At least, um, okay. What do we want next? Uh, let's maybe give them some. Man, I, I'm not familiar with the whole layout anymore. I gotta figure out what I want. Or so air systems, filtration, sanitation. I think is what I want next. Because that's where the sink is. Because the, the wash basin is no longer available in the medicine. Or, oh, no, it is. Huh. I forgot to put these down. So, I wonder what the difference is between the sink and the wash basin. I wonder if the sink is plumbing. It has plumbing, so you don't have to drain the bottles anymore. That would be cool. You need the classic cryptic box. <laughs> Look, I don't know what's going on over here. That's some, that's some pretty strong carbon dioxide right there. It's holding up a wall of water. <laughs> Can't get to the plant over there either, which isn't the best. All right, so they get this dug out. They'll get a nice little bath as this all washes down, and then we've got access to more fresh water. Although it's clinging on here really well. <laughs> oh, there's even some more oxalate up there. Okay, let's set these up so that they can go um, only when they're leaving the bathroom. And then we're gonna need a water bottle, or otherwise they're not gonna use these things anyway. But I want to see how much water actually drains down here before I build it. Uh oh, are they low on oxygen? No, just up there. We're good. Discord's amazing. You won't get it. Oh yeah. So there's a there's a there is a bunch of regulars that like to hang out in the Discord, which is good. So there's always lots of uh, lots of opportunity for conversation and stuff. Uh, I pop in there myself as well to chat every now and then too. Uh, power regulation. I I feel like maybe I should go for a larger battery early on. Ventilation, pressure management, temperature modulation, HVAC. That's interesting. Um. You know what, let's go with the core. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and keep their stress under control if I can. They're at 20% stress now, which really isn't that bad, but... They're gonna need more, uh, more stuff to help them control it. Because these poor duplicates get stressed easy. Let's take this out. Da -da -da. Welcome Tommy Chris, thanks so much for sponsoring the channel, that's amazing. That gets me up to six sponsors, that's pretty cool. I gotta look up when the next uh, when the next emoji unlocks. It's uh it's at like eight or ten, I think. Something like that. Pretty cool though. Uh, okay, let's uh let's maybe deconstruct the floor here, this ladder, because we don't need this anymore. He's gonna drop himself in the water. Just wait. Oh no, someone else oh <laughs> thought someone was gonna do it for him. In the plumbing we have our we still have, oh now they call it a pitcher pump. Alright, that's cool. Actually, can I can I flip this around so the handle's on the other side? No, you can't. Okay. Hello, Casual AF Gaming. Kazi. Welcome to the stream. Wow, that was a really delayed pop-up for the sponsor. That's crazy. <laughs> 
All right, so we have access to water now, uh, and they should be filling up the sink. Uh, man, these guys are so efficient, I don't even know what to do with them. Uh, let's get them some more space dug out here, and we'll get some storage going so they can clean up the floor. That'll help a lot with our stress level. Oxygen is still really good. We still have oxalite. Nice. Look at that. We made it past... Uh, oh, no, we're not past cycle six yet, but I think we're going to get past cycle six without anyone dying. <laughs> How do you sponsor? So there, there is, should be a button above the chat that you click on, uh, and you'll get a pop-up. And the sponsor, I think, is like four ninety nine a month or something like that. Uh, you get the little Cryptic Fox logo when you're in chat and then access to the custom emojis. The water's being destroyed. Is it? Is the water level going down? No. I mean, it, it doesn't seem to be changing. It's just like a really weird, really weird gla graphical error. So the plant that was here drowned, and it... Uh, I don't know. Well, I hope it's not going down. 94, 93, 92. It is. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Okay, what if I build a block right on it? I wonder if that will stop this from happening. That's not good. I mean, I have limited water to begin with. If the game's going to destroy it on me at the same... No. <laughs> wow, that's great. Okay, it is holding... No, it's going down still. Are you kidding me? How am I going to stop that from happening? Oh, the space to the left is filling up. Oh, because maybe it's just draining off. I'm, oh, man, I really hope that's the case. Because if it's like actually destroying my water, I mean, that would really stink. I don't know if they can reach that or not, but we'll see. Uh, okay, they have this dug out. Let's do it a little, get a little floor in here. And we can put our storage containers in this space. Actually, I'm not going to make one on the end here. I might end up doing a water seal here. If we end up using chlorine to kind of try to control the germs, which I should check the germ overlay. Oh, wow, look at that. The concentration of germs is significantly smaller than than it was after the outbreak upgrade. Still there, but but much, much less. So that's kind of cool. Is the water going to leak into the sand? No, I don't think it will, but it, it, there's a chance it could break through here, but there's enough tiles there that I think it'll be fine. Uh, it should be fine over here as well. I just I won't dig this any farther down because I don't want to weaken the structure and give it a chance to leak out on me. That would stink because we have a limited amount of it as it is. I'm actually surprised at how little water we have. Not thrilled with that at all. Let's try and get the rest of this to drain down. If we can, anyway. Worst case scenario, I'll actually I'll get a water bottler, or uh, de-bottler, rather. Bottle emptier, there we go. Take the bottle emptier, we'll stick it up here, and then we can just drain it down. Uh, that way, if we mop up anything up top, we can drain it down the bottom, too. Three plus tiles should be golden. Yeah, it shouldn't. It, there should be really no issue with that at all. Uh, let's get some storage going so they can clean up and de-stress a little bit. So we'll set this for all, but we don't want any polluted dirt in here. Copy our settings. Perfect. Ooh, time for the duplicate. Cycle six. Okay, ooh, seven creativity. That will be a good person to have. Biohazardous. Ah, oh, immune system minus four. Okay, I, I, I can deal with that, I think. Oh, another one with high strength. We've been really good. Mouth breather. They're going to breathe a little more oxygen. Do we go with the high creativity or the strength? I mean, the strength can't be trained, but it would be nice to have an artist going around kind of helping out a little bit with the, a little bit with the stress levels. You're a totally sick narcoleptic. <laughs> All right. TED, you can be the uh, the narcoleptic here. Welcome to the colony. <laughs> Just falling asleep ever. Your house is on fire. Uh, then why are you on the internet? That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm still not sure what the deal is with this water down here, but it looks like... You know, the level does seem to be going down, but I think it's just this over here that's acting really weird. It doesn't seem like they could reach this. Does it say unreachable? It's switching so often, I can't tell. It's unreachable. All right, so they can't get over there. I'd like to know what's going on there, but whatever. All right, they're cleaning up the floor, which will help with stress. Let's get maybe a second floor in here. Uh, and I should research the, uh, the ventilation stuff so we can get access to the airflow tile, which is the second level of this. And we're going to need a supercomputer, too, I guess. How are people with research? Do we only have one person who's very smart? We do. Everyone else, not so bright. Things are going to go a little bit slowly, probably, on the research front, because we have people that aren't terribly bright in our colony. Want to try reloading. Too much water. It's not too much water. It's not enough water. I need more mining. Yeah. 
Saving and reloading might fix the glitch. Um, it might, actually. I don't know that it's actually doing anything. It's just... This is really weird, though. I think this is just, like, the carbon dioxide pressure is holding it in, but... Let's try that quickly. We'll see if we'll see if we can get that to go away. So we'll just do a quick save. Um, and then we'll load it up. See what happens. With any luck, it'll make it go away, but we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, the space isn't filling up. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but... All right, so the, the little damaging effect down here has gone away, so that's good. But this is still doing its crazy waterfall, but that's fine. What are they dropping in there? <laughs> i fill up my water area. Get all this dug out. Uh, we're probably going to need to start producing oxygen in the relatively near future, although this oxalate has lasted a really long time. I'm kind of impressed. Yeah, air pressure over here is not so great, but maybe if I just... Uh, what's the... See, all this water in here is still... Still an issue. Let's try to mop this up. See if we can get all the water out of here. And then I'll just seal it off with the door so we're not pressurizing up here. I don't want to waste my oxygen in this space up top. If we can avoid it. Uh, and actually, I can do that right now since... Oops. Uh, we'll deconstruct the ladder right here. And then we'll throw a little, little sideways door in. Oh, I don't have a door. Okay, so I have to learn the manual airlock now. You don't start off with it anymore. That's good to know. Where's the manual airlock? I guess that's probably in some sort of pressure control here, right? Distillation, plumbing, sanitation, decontamination. Where is... Oh, pressure management. There we go. All right, so I'm going to need to research that in order to get that airlock door. And I should probably do that sooner rather than later, just because I want to seal off that space. Uh, wow, there's a lot of bottles. <laughs> Uh, let's set this to uh, to clean water. Let's set it priority six so they can run around and empty the bottles for me. Put a tile on that glitch. <laughs> I did put a tile on the glitch. It's right there. Oh, over here. I can't reach that one. They won't go over that far. Let's uh, deconstruct this now. Just wait. De I'll deconstruct the block and it'll have that same glitch in the same spot where it'll show something being destroyed. Had a level 10 dupe under the pod but couldn't research. Oh, that stinks. Can I sing? Yes, I can sing. Will I sing? That depends. <laughs> okay, let's uh, throw another little level over here. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to take that out just yet, maybe. Let's cancel that for now. I'm thinking uh, I don't want to expand too quickly and kind of kind of mess with the, the whole oxygen supply in here. Uh, up here, I'm going to put their bed so they have a place to sleep. I, for, I don't know why, but for some reason, I like putting them right here all the time. I thought I'd watch this so you can see the changes in research before I hop on. Yeah, that's a lot of research change in there. Yeah, yeah get me enough beer, Kazi, and I'll drink. Or I'll sing. <laughs> Make ladders to go to the waterfall. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what I'll accomplish by doing that, though. So, I mean, I can go all the way over here because we're going to want to get the algae and stuff anyway. So, we can go like this. Dig this out. It's not getting the algae, but I don't know what's going to fix this. It, it seems like there's a little bug sometimes where uh, a tile of, of uh, gases can hold back liquid, and apparently we ran into that, so it's not really a big deal. It doesn't, I don't think it really stops anything, but... Um, oh, right, we need to make a supercomputer. That's probably important. So, stations... Oh, we've got a supercomputer. We'll stick it over here. New sponsor, Chantel Clark. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Plug that into some power, and we can make ourselves some fancy more research stuff. You're not kidding, your house on fire. Wait, how many people have their house on fire? <laughs> Thanks, Malachi Watson. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy it. Where's your drill at? What drill? I ain't got no drill. All right, let's put uh, some furniture in here. Try to get these, try to get these dupes a little stress relief. They're at uh, 37% already, so. Nice little bedroom up here. Start off with six beds, I guess. We have five duplicates right now, so we'll be equipped for one extra. Uh, we don't have any fancy decor. So oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, so they went back to that double system now where you actually have to pick your research with... No. No, it should be, it should be set to a, a default. Oh, there we go. Weird. At least I got a place to sleep now. That should help a little bit with stress. 
Nice algae close to the upper left. Yeah, there's a few a few nice pockets of algae in here actually. Check our gases. Oh yeah, it's getting low. Okay, it's time to time to throw in a little bit of oxygen production. I'm gonna use an algae deoxidizer here. We'll plug it into our fancy little treadmill. And our tiny battery. I'm gonna need a bigger battery soon. Sooner the better. Lots of CO2 there. We need to keep the air pressure up here so I can keep the CO2 pressed down. Do not like it when it's too high. But I need that door. Oh, you know what? They cleaned up all the bottles up here already. I'm just going to actually put some tile right on the way here. Um, throw some tile like right here. And that will stop me from having to pressurize this upper area. There's a little bit of oxalate, but it's not producing any gas right now anyway. All our oxalate is gone down here, which leaves us just the little bit that's underneath our water. Yeah, see, they still didn't do anything about this. I don't know what the deal is. Let's see, try digging that up. Do some 3D modeling. Have fun with the 3D modeling, DJ Hengen. Make a close sleeping quarters for added benefits. How does that work exactly? So I haven't seen... Uh, let's see. Provide sleeping with duplicate. Duplicates will automatically sleep. Blah, 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 blah. So I have heard there's something to do with actual rooms, and I'm curious to see what the deal is with that. Uh, this is the new update that's coming up soon. So we're playing in the beta branch. Uh, now, when we're playing in beta, we're going to run into some bugs and things. We already found a couple. Um, nothing really serious, but um, you know, the game might crash a little bit. But we're getting a chance to kind of try out some of the new stuff before it's really been balanced. The water filled effect. Holy, look at that. That was one serious waterfall over there. <laughs> so it was almost like it was hiding it. It was like falling into like... A weird little pocket in space, and as soon as we got rid of it, it bam just exploded out and filled up the whole area. Uh, hopefully, this thing is still usable. It's still still usable. <laughs> That'd be bad. Yeah, it's so weird how that fixed it. It's nice to get rid of that though, so we don't have to mess around with that now. We can. There's actually that's quite a bit of water to start with. I'm not so unhappy now. Uh, we're getting some oxygen production, which is good. Let's do another floor over here so we can get to the plants that are over here. Uh, ultimately, I'd like to get some plants planted soon too. And some uh, some mealwood planted so we can start our farm production. Just need to build up the gases in here a little bit so that I have actually decent air pressure. Wait, see you on Discord. All right, see you later, Angel. Room overlay. Oh yeah, right there. Undefined room, no effect. Latrine relieves a small amount of stress when used. Uh, how does this work now? Do, can you actually? Mess hall relieves a small amount of stress when used. Med bay helps quarantine duplicates. So I wonder how you actually define a space as being that type of area. Prioritize heart attack. That's interesting. I wonder if it will define it itself if you just enclose the space or if you have to do something special. Compost pile needed. Oh, you're absolutely right. Uh, where are we? Refinement. Thank you for spotting that. We'll stick. We'll stick two over there. Oh, our research is done, so we have access to our uh, airflow tiles, which is good. Let's see, do we go with artistic expression to help with stress, or what else do I want to get access to here? We go with battery power up here. We get our large battery, which would be nice. Improved ventilation. Medical research. Filtration. Air systems. Internal combustion. Meal prep. Not really worried about meal prep just yet. All right, let's go with power, power regulation for now. Read the pop-ups, silly. I did read the pop-ups. Undefined room. Criteria. Surrounded by walls and doors. Oh, I see. Duh. <laughs> room criteria. Toilet wash station. No industrial machinery. Minimum size 12 tiles. Maximum size 64 tiles. Oh, that's so interesting. So uh, so that means if I if I enclose this room like this, this will turn it into a latrine area? How many tiles is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, All right, so we got definitely, definitely enough tiles of space there. That's really neat. Have you thought about uh, water locking the bathroom and flooding it with chlorine gas? Uh, I have thought about doing that, although really, realistically, the, the food poisoning germs really aren't so bad in the game. Of all the germs you have to deal with, those ones are really not, they're not super stressful that way. Uh, I apparently can't put anything there because I've got a plant there. So I'm gonna dig a little tunnel over here so I can get over to it and see what happens when we close this in. Barracks, uh, let's see. Room criteria, one bed, no industrial machinery, minimum size 12 tiles, maximum size 64 tiles. A 12 tile room for a single duplicate, that's crazy. 
It's neat though. That's it's kind of cool that they added that in, so you get a nice little benefit for making your place more comfortable for them. I think I want to get some more. I'm not worried too much about uh, power production just yet. Uh, nor filtration. Sanitation would be handy because I can get the mesh tile. Ooh, decontamination isn't until way up here, and I kind of want the deodorizer. Medical research. Apothecary produces medicine to cure most basic diseases. Duplicates will not fabricate unless re recipes are queued. Interesting. Let's go with artistic expression. Trying to make things a little bit nicer in their environment. Um, you can have multiple beds in a room. Okay, so that's good. So I, you know what? I'll just put all six of them in a room then. Hopefully, this this pneumatic door actually counts. It should be interesting to see whether it does. Fill the bathroom with chlorine gas. Only Oni would be that good. <laughs> yeah, no, isn't that right? <laughs> Here, everybody, just go hang out in this chlorine. It'll be fine. Don't worry. A few deep breaths and everything will seem really good. Uh, okay, so loud sleeper. That That's not good. I kind of wanted that strength in the learning, but not not at that price. Diver as long as in a pacifist. So this seems like the this seems like the, the easiest one of the bunch to take. And they're an artist, too, which isn't so bad. Decent immunity. Who wants to be Nails? How did I come up with my name for YouTube? It's not really a super interesting story. Um, I was playing... Uh, I had another channel already using a game... Or, so using a name that... Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to actually... I'm going to name this after some of the people that, that sponsored the channel. I think that's a good idea. The Dutch. There we go. Welcome. Um, so anyway, I was playing a game, and I had a fox character that I was using, and I was playing with uh, with a different channel, and I decided I was going to rebrand and start a channel that I was going to be more more family friendly, wasn't going to swear on, basically. Uh, so I decided ultimately to uh, uh, to make this channel, and I was just kind of toying around with a bunch of different things that I thought would sound sound neat with the fox, and I landed on cryptic fox. So it's not really a super interesting story, but that's kind of how it happened. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully these doors don't really provide too much of a barrier for the oxygen flow in here. And I'm kind of hoping I can also put airflow tiles and, and not have it impact the room scenario. I want to see this thing close, like, turn into, like, color in for a room. That'd be cool. They need to put, like, one tile in here, I think. Oh, look, they're welding, even though they're not there. That's, that's mad skills right there. Okay, we have six duplicates. We're going to need more beds, because I think I'm going to bring in eight or ten duplicates in total. Uh, lots of people are probably going to want to be duplicants, so hopefully we'll try and get as many of them in here as we can, but... How do you sponsor? There should be a button above the chat that you click on. You'll get a pop-up, and it's... I think it's something like four ninety nine a month for sponsorship. Um, and the, I haven't done it myself, so there's, like, stuff you have to click through to do your payment or whatever. Um, and then you'll get the little fox head in the chat and access to the custom emojis. Right now there's only one custom emoji uploaded, but uh, tonight we unlocked at least one more, which is really cool. So that'd be really neat. Uh, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll work on getting another uh, custom emoji set up uh, for the next stream. Uh, and then usually uh, for the custom emojis, what I'll do is um, we'll do like a vote in the Discord chat to see what people are interested in. Maybe one of the uh, one of the mods can set up a, a channel in there specifically for voting on the uh, uh, on the custom emojis. That would be handy. And <laughs> you go grab some water. Okay, so. Oh, there we go. Look, look, we have a bathroom. Sweet. Okay, so what benefit does that give? Um, leaves a small amount of stress when you... Oh, so it's mostly just about stress. Increases stamina recovered by sleeping. That's cool. Small amount of stress. Helps quarantine duplicates assigned to it. Oh, neat. So that's really cool. I like that change. That's awesome. It actually gives you a purpose for making your, your base look like something more than just a big open space. That's really neat. Okay, so um, what do we want to grab next in here? I guess... Um, I should probably try to work towards the deodorizer stuff, because that's ultimately what I really want. Uh, if we go into sanitation, that can get me up to decontamination, and I want to see what the deal is with this sink. I have a feeling it might be like the wash basin, but actually have plumbing, and that would be very cool. Uh, research jobs. I still only have one person that can do research. What about art? We have two duplicates that can do art, so that's good. We should probably do a little bit of decor improvement around here. Because frankly, this place looks kind of grim. So let's throw some paintings in here. Uh, we'll do some little sculpture stuff. Check on our oxygen here too. Yeah, the oxygen's not really high, qu not high content in here. I think I'm gonna take take another algae deoxidizer and we'll stick it up here. Plug that in, and that will give us some airflow. Oh, you know what? If I do that, then I can't turn this into a room. 
cancel build. I, and I put this actually a little bit too close relative to where I would like it to be. You know what? I always have this problem where I, I trap CO2 in different corners of the colony. So maybe what I'll do is stick the algae deoxidizer way over here in this corner. Throw a little wire over to that. And then uh, hopefully when this produces air, and we'll put some airflow tile under it. So that the oxygen it produces can go down to the lower level. Do the same thing over here. Do a little bit of tile work. I should let the air flow better. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, Kazi. So the, the vote so far is to have your face as the, uh, <laughs> the, second, uh, the second custom emoji. Uh, so under the decor overlay. Uh, let's see. That's a farming overlay. Man, there we go. Decor overlay. So it's still not very nice. <laughs> we have a bathroom. It's just not very pretty. Uh, and in part, it's because there's a whole bunch of stuff on the floor. So they're not cleaning up the dirt that's there. Uh, let's set this for priority six so they put up, pick up any food. We are down to 7,000 kilocalories, so I'm going to have to start thinking about food production soon, too. Uh, maybe we can put, like, a little kitchen thing up here. That would be neat. So, in the room overlay, we can do uh, a mess hall up top here. So, that would have to have one mess table, no industrial machinery. So, I guess we can't have the... We can't have the, the micro musher up there, I guess. When do you get to say in things? Uh, I don't know. What things do you want to say in? English no goo. <laughs> Kazi emoji, yeah. So, um, like I said, we, we'll do a vote on the on the Discord. We'll figure out what emojis you want to add in. Um, A-Bomb has been like amazing at doing some custom emojis for the Discord. So, uh, it would be cool maybe to grab some of those and bring them into the chat. I think that would be a great, kind of a great extension of the emoji work he's already done. Um, I'm going to cancel that. Hold on. Okay, how's our air? I mean, it's not it's not the best air in here, but it's not the worst either. I guess I should probably maybe try to seal this off. So one, two, three, four. Let's do a little roof along here. And I'm going to need to dig all this out. Otherwise, they won't be able to reach anything. I'll do the same thing on this side. We'll try and enclose this whole colony in now. So we can, we can do uh, gas management as much as possible. Like I say in the new emojis, but you don't have Discord. Um, okay, that could be tricky then. <laughs> more batteries equal less time on the treadmill, more efficient. You are absolutely correct, and I should do more batteries. Uh, and actually, we did research that the larger battery, so we can take a couple of these and put them over here. Now, the tricky part is that these batteries, um, they do consume... Oh, man, I used up a whole pile of metal. Uh, they do produce a lot of heat, so I'd have to be a little bit cautious of that, I guess. Let's go down here and dig up some metal. This vacuum is probably going to suck some carbon dioxide down with it, which I guess isn't the worst thing in the world. Give me some, uh, give me some of that sweet, sweet copper. <laughs> is this English good? That's fine. What's many blocks over the bathroom? What? Well, there's, they're building, they've been building this one forever. It's not going away. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. No, it's fine, height-wise. I should actually consider putting some decor in the bathroom, too, so when they're in here, it's maybe not quite as ugly. Uh, we can put a statue right here. Yeah, d the Discord's actually really uh, its actually really easy to use. Uh, click the sign up, and it's been really handy. It, it was um, Golden King that set up my, my Discord for me. Uh, quite some time ago now, and it's been it's been really popular. Everybody seems to really enjoy it. The chance to kind of pop in there and chat. Um, I've gotten to know a number of the different people that subscribe and follow the channel, which is great. And the, many of them became mods on the uh, on the channel as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, the new room style system is really cool. Uh, so okay, we're we're close to having a bedroom now. If we can put, an, we'll put a door on either side of this thing. Actually, I wanted to have room for another another bed or two. I'll go like this. So now we have a bedroom. Well, almost. There we go. That'll get us a bedroom at least. And now there's no power, so we're not producing any oxygen. <laughs> I really need to get these ba these batteries all stored up. Bedroom at the ladder? Wow. BED room, cryptic at the ladder. I don't understand what you mean. 
It's not water, it's jello. It does kind of act like jello, I guess. It's got, got similar properties. Um, we probably want to put some airflow tile in here to let the carbon dioxide out. Just go like so. I'm going to try and be a little bit more conservative with my copper because I've kind of used a lot of it. And I'm really bad. Oh, oh, right, food shortage. Yeah, we should take care of that too. Uh, let's get micro musher going. Oh, we'll just stick it down here for now, I guess, right next to the food storage box. Because we honestly don't have anything cool going on in terms of like an eating hall yet. Ready for more research. Medical research, I don't want that just yet. Air systems, maybe not. Oh, right, I want to do the decontamination so I can get this wonderful little deodorizer. Put that in the bathroom so nobody has to breathe the stink in anymore. The only thing I don't like about having to close in the room is that um, it, may, it does make airflow maybe a little bit more challenging because the air doesn't really shift around all that effectively in this game. It's really easy to get pockets. Like, this is producing a high-quality air right here, but it, it doesn't take much distance away from it before you've got more of an issue there, so... <laughs> tree fitty. I ain't giving you no tree fitty, you Loch Ness monster. <laughs> tree fitty. Talking about tree fitty. Okay, did we get a door yet? I think we did. Did I get a door? Um, yeah, manual lock. Okay, sweet. All right. Let's uh, deconstruct this. Sorry, I was reading a text message. It's more useful for the gas piping, though. It does, I guess, yeah, because you can actually do like a little bit more of a, like a full-on ventilation system. Because you kind of it makes it much more necessary to try to push the air around instead of just sort of letting it move on its own. I like the direction the game's moving in. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of lore they add to the game because they do have a story behind this. Like, why are they in this place, and what is it they're supposed to be doing here? And uh, there's all these things that, that they haven't revealed yet that they've they've hinted at the fact that they exist and they have they have a concept for it, but just not something that they have actually like um, deployed yet. And deconstruct the statues. We make room for two more beds. We'll bring in a couple more, a couple more people again. So. And we can have a squeamish one. Ooh, wow, that's really good. Seven learning will help out a lot, because I only have one person doing research right now. Buff and smart. Look at that. The ultimate jock. Uh, all right. Okay, dragon, you win. Oh, actually, no, wait. Sorry, Tommy, uh, Tommy Chris will be our first one. I'll get to you, uh, dragon, don't worry. We'll bring Tommy Chris in. Thanks so much for sponsoring the channel again, Tommy. My batteries aren't connected. Oh, yeah, I ran out of, uh... Oh, yeah, how about that? <laughs> they charge so much better when you plug them in. It's funny how that works. That's why nothing works at my house. <laughs> Nothing's plugged in. Yeah, I know. I, I got rid of the statue, but I'll replace it with, um... I'll replace it with paintings. Uh, but we need room for furniture, so we'll put, um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a little more crowded than I thought it was. I guess I could have left the statue alone. Ooh, and so they have tra they also have traps in the game now, so we can trap the hatches and, put and move them into, like, a place that we want to use them. Uh, but we have to get to the point where we have plastics, I think, before we can do that. So that might take a little bit. Uh, I broke that statue for no reason, so I should probably put it back. Decor is looking significantly nicer in here, at least. I think I'm going to need a second bedroom. That's crazy. Maybe I'll put it on this side. We'll do, we'll do a two-bedroom colony. It'll be perfect. Take all this out. Uh, and then I'll dig this out too. We got our door in place here so that I can get that sealed off. Uh, let's see, manual airlock. Stick it right there. That will help me control the control the gases just a little bit. Here's a bear. Thanks for coming to check out the stream. Appreciate that. Can't wait to see what we can do with the diamond in the game. Yeah, they don't have anything to do with diamond yet, but apparently it's great for storing things like hot magma because <laughs> it doesn't get destroyed. Why isn't the seventh dupe using their bed? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Who doesn't have a cot? Trivaldo, a sign. There we go. All right, he's got. A, he'll use the bed now. Oh, we got somebody trapped over here. Take him out. Oh, look! Look at Harold's freaking out. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! <laughs> it's nice that they freak out before they actually get into real distress. Because he didn't wait until he couldn't breathe at all. He he just started freaking out right away. Which I mean, I guess it's both good and bad. But Musher isn't queued up. Yep, I should probably plug it in too. Oh, no, it's plugged in. Uh, let's make some mush bars. We've got good battery power, which is good. Uh, let's do some more research. Man, this is going to take a long time to get the research done. I like this. 
It always felt a little bit weird to me that you can kind of power through the research really early and then just destroy them. Um, so I kind of like that they split this all out. It takes a little bit more time. Um, what do we want to work on next? So if we move... We've already done all the all of this branch. Um, temperature modulation, clothing, home luxuries. I kind of want to get out to this environmental protection stuff. Oh, look. I wonder if you have to have both of these done in order to go to this branch. Or maybe one or the other. That's interesting. Let's go improve ventilation. And then we'll get to this environmental protection. Not because I necessarily need it yet, but just because I want to make it. It's something new, and I want, to, I want to try out the environmental suits and see what they look like. Well, I mean, I know what they look like, but I want to see what it's like to play with them. Firestar, thanks for coming and checking out the stream. How did he trap himself? Um, he dug through and the sand fell in front of him. Uh, and because the sand actually has gravity applied to it, uh, he managed to trap himself. Not really a big deal, but it was a good thing we dug him out. Because, I mean, who wants a dead duplicate this early in the game? Aside from all the people like seeing dead duplicates, I don't know. Okay, so we can put another little door over here. Uh, let's get some more furniture in here. I think um, I was going to do like a little kitchen space in here, but I guess we can do some beds here first. Because we're going to need them. I've got seven now. I need to do at least three more beds. Like so. Give them some fancy decor in here so they feel really, really good about their space. I could theoretically put like an eating place over here too, but that, that's then we wouldn't have a, uh, wouldn't have a good enough space for that. I don't think. Back from snacking. Welcome back. Streams make me hungry too, but it's a little hard to eat and talk at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> dead duplicates. Yeah. Ran something to do with the portal. Blah, blah. Cough, angel. Cough, cough. What? Oh, yeah, Angel's always looking for the dead duplicates. That is so right. Kitch bath bed? <laughs> Wait, a kitch bath bed? What? Hi, AJ Folsh. I'm so entertained right now. Crypto can make the best videos ever. Well, thanks very much. I'm glad you enjoyed them. I enjoy making them, so I'm just happy that people like to watch them. <laughs> Oh, we got our deodorizer. Let's put this next to our toilet. I see some stinky stuff going on here. Oh, you know what? I haven't actually built a place yet to get rid of our putrid water. I could probably do that down here. That will kind of keep it out of the way. Um, and I kind of need to get this metal down here anyway. Let's go just a little bit lower here. Extend our ladder down just a tiny bit. Or not. Come on, give me the ladder. Uh, and I'm going to dig out a space in here. And this will be where we'll get rid of all that... Disgusting putrid water. All the germy stuff can hang out in this space. Oh, come on. I can't click. Food shortage, but we're at 5,000 kilocalories, so we're okay. Okay, so if we build a little ceiling in here, we might have to do like a bottle emptier, so I'm going to make sure this is maybe big enough. I don't know. We'll go something like this. I see some slime there. Are there any germs? A little bit. Not bad. Okay, so this will be our... Oh, look at that. I did it anyway. This will be our little space we'll use to kind of uh, get rid of our putrid water. Once I get that all dug out anyway. Uh, because we're going to need to get rid of the bottles that are in here. I don't have a hatch trapped over here, which would be kind of handy. He could just eat all the junk for me. Small change that I'm enjoying is the boop and beep noises. Yeah, I actually like the fact, too, like when you zoom in... No, it's, I'm not hearing it now, but I, I could have sworn when he zoomed in, like, the music changes when you zoom in and out, but... Magma biome's two times large. It takes one or two biomes to dig into the magma biome. Oh, really? That's cool. We want to find an oil biome today, too. That would be really good. Oh, there's some nice patches of algae up here. Big one over there. Man, look at all this algae. All right, so we're, we're set for algae, at least. It's all within striking distance. I don't see any geysers, though. I wonder if they reduce the, the frequency of geysers. That, that might be an interesting change. Uh, let's see our overlay. Okay, so this is undefined room, no effect. Why? And this is an undefined room, no effect. No industrial machinery, latrine, toilet. I don't have any industrial machinery in these spaces. Maximum size, 64 tiles. I wonder if that's like 64 square tiles. Uh, please check the right side. Yeah, there is a new plant. So there's this plant over here, the uh, the balmy the balm lily. I'm not sure what it's used for just yet. Uh, was there a new plant over here somewhere? There's the mushrooms. 
Oh, just the bomb lily you saw. Oh, that's actually really cool looking. I'm not sure what to use it for yet. We'll have to find out. But so I did something wrong. I think it was these the airflow tiles. I think mess with uh, the room designation, which really kind of stinks. Pardon the pun, because it's the bathroom and all. But that really means that you really do have to use the whole ventilation system, because otherwise you can't get the gases to pass properly. But how do you control carbon dioxide when you can't use airflow tiles? I'm going to replace the tiles here, and we'll see what happens. I have a feeling that's what it was, because this wa this room was defined as the bathroom before. Uh, sure, square tiles. 64 tiles from left to right. It's almost half the... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so it's 64 square tiles. So how many, how many have I got here? So... It's four high by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, eighteen by four. No, I'm just barely over. Wouldn't that figure? I guess I could put like individualized rooms in here so they have like little separations. Poor Harold. I don't know what he's up to. I think he's actually <laughs> Harold's trying to pump the uh, pump the little water thing down here, the pitcher pump. It's the air deco. Don't the air deco... I don't know. Well, hold on, let me see. I guess it could be. I mean, that doesn't seem like an industrial item, but I suppose it's possible. Yep, no, it's probably that. Ah, oh, drat. After I just wasted all that copper. <laughs> I guess I could put the air deodorizer outside of the room. Yeah, it's the air deodorizer. How weird is that? Okay, so we can't use the air deodorizer in the bathroom, but we can put one outside the bathroom. I mean, that's almost as polite. <laughs> Which means that I probably don't want to use airflow tiles in here so much because then the polluted oxygen will just flow downward. This room here, I think I can solve for by putting... Um, if we get rid of a statue and we can put another door and a wall in here, it'll separate into two separate rooms. And then I think we'll be okay. And then we'll have two defined rooms there. If they work more quickly. <laughs> Thought Harold was scared of the hatch. Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't I don't think so. I mean he was dancing around, but he might I don't think he's actually um he's not a pacifist. Just another one of those funny little bugs. Yeah, so there's uh two hundred and one seeing two ninety two, so it could be two ninety five watching on YouTube and then another twenty five on Twitch. Oh look we got the we got the hatch trapped in the door. Poor little hatch. Okay, so that is defined as a bedroom now. Or barracks, rather. And then over here, I guess we'll do the same thing. We'll put another put another door over here and block this off. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use this space in here for yet. Maybe we can put, like, a little hospital in there. Um, but they don't have direct access to the bathroom, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Does that room think all the issue where a door blocks the bathroom access for a hospital bed? Um, I don't know. I've always just made a point... So once I realized you needed to have the hospital bed nearby, I just sort of built a, a, another... Another bathroom and a little food storage container right next to it, and it sort of solved the problem. But uh, if we go up the agriculture path, we can get to the animal control. That might be neat. Um, but let's go for environmental protection first. Oh, you do have to do the lower level stuff. Okay, so these have a dual. Well, this one has a dual requirement. I guess because you need the cloth in order to make the suit. So I'm going to put that on hold for the moment. I do want to get that suit for sure, but it will require us to dig into the. Uh, into the swamp biome to go after the reed in order to make the cloth that we're going to need in order to produce the suit. So, me, I know what. Yeah, let's try it out anyway. I don't even know if that's actually the requirement. We'll just research the whole thing and see what happens. I really want to make one of those suits. I don't know why. <laughs> Council number automatically, I think, uh, try putting the most over the area. Oh. With the overlay. Room size 28. Oh, that's super handy. Wow. Okay, see, room size 36. That is a serious quality of life improvement right there. Nice. Wow, I'm really digging the, all the changes they made in this update so far. That's really cool. Grease monkey, non-constructive, tinkering, cooking, immunity. Uh, I guess it would be good to have somebody that's a decent chef. Uh, non-constructive and a narcoleptic early bird. Scientist... Learning, strength, digging. Uh, I don't know. Should I go with the chef or should I go with the scientist? I feel like anyone can learn cooking skills, but they can't learn strength. So maybe I'll go with this route. And this one can be Chantel Clark. Oops. There we go. Welcome to the colony, Chantel. And thank you again for sponsoring the channel. That's amazing. 
Expansion is key. Yep, we gotta grow. We gotta grow or die. Our air pressure is looking great. We have no issues that way, although it's a little funky up here. The gases are doing some weird stuff up here. We actually have CO2 trapped at the top of this room, which is just strange. <laughs> Sorry, Lady Miga. <laughs> uh, and again, the new duplicate that came in didn't assign themselves to a bed. That's interesting. There we go. Assign that to Chantel. Hopefully she'll go sleep in it tonight and not sleep up. No, she slept on the floor. <laughs> That's weird. They're not assigning themselves to a bed when they when they join in the game. That's so strange. Uh, okay. They're almost done over here, so we've almost got... We've almost got enough space here to build our fancy little room uh, to put our bottle emptier in. So we use a mesh tile here. Actually, that, I made that really, I made that really shallow. That that might not have been the best idea. <laughs> I should make this a little bit deeper. Just because I don't know how long I'm going to leave it there. So if I if I don't make it deep enough, I'm not going to have enough space. Oh, yep, dirty floor. Let's go that route, and then we'll dig this out. And I should probably do some more ladders so they can actually reach things. There we go. Uh, that'll give me at least a little more room to store some yucky water down there. I think the updates move more and more towards structured room design. Yeah, the whole thing is actually... This is really cool. The germ update was really neat because it added some new challenges to the game and everything, which was really kind of neat. But um, I'm really liking the, like the, the actual style changes that are in this one. It, it actually requires you to like think a little bit more about the base that you're building and try to actually design it a bit, which is kind of cool. And having research that extends deeper is, is also kind of awesome, too. Random mention here, that sponsor is me, and you just uh, maybe uh, pretend I didn't mess up horribly on what account it was signed to at the time. Maybe you're... <laughs> ah, yes, Dragon. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay, which, um, wait, hold on, Dragon, which, uh, which sponsor was you? They do when they have a bed to go to. Well, so, the, but they didn't, though. So, like, this bed, for example, it says, see, she's still not assigned to a cot. She slept on the floor, even though the bed was already finished. So I'll assign it to her again and see what happens, and hopefully we'll sleep in it this time. Thanks, Alabac. I appreciate that you enjoy the videos. It's been a lot of fun. And we, we never speak again. The most the most recent one. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, <laughs> so you have a duplicate in the game then. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Maybe another bug. Yeah, it might be. I mean, we're going to run into a bunch of bugs. Because this is the like just the beta branch, uh, there's going to be little things that don't work properly, and that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. Ultimately, um, let's do a little wash station down here. Wait, that's a medicine. Oh, sink. Okay, there we go. It removes germs. Germ cover duplicates use sinks from housing. All right, so it's the same basic stats. But I really want to see if this has. Pl it does have plumbing. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to use a wash basin down here for now because I don't have any plumbing set up. Um, but I think that's really cool. I'm going to put a door here. Try to keep all our germy germs trapped in this space. We'll tile floor here, and then in our plumbing, we'll use the bottle emptier. I'm going to use this one for the gross stuff. You can dump all the gross junk there. What do we have? Problem. Food shortage. Same issue as before. No biggie. Uh, jobs. Did I, did I pick someone that was a decent chef? Nope. Nobody can cook. That's fine. Not that, I mean, I mean, in all fairness, the micro busher isn't exactly really cooking anyway. They're just sort of mushing some dirt and some water into a machine and pressing it out in bar form. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing says delectable. Alright, uh, research is not done. I kind of want to get some power generation going so I don't have to have people run on the treadmill anymore. Um, but I don't know where I want to put it. So the, it's kind of a shame that the cold biomes aren't close by anymore because it was really handy being able to just put everything in the cold biome and have it never overheat. It's not really so much an option now. And I need to get some, some gold amalgam if I'm going to help with some machinery not overheating too. So I guess we'll just go with the treadmill for now. I guess, like, I mean, ultimately... Yeah, that definitely be duped and get renamed. Yeah, I'll rename Chantel. Where's, um... Where is it? Where's Chantel? Hello? Harold? Still Harold. <laughs> Harold is just defying everything. Oh, Chantel's in the bathroom. 
Edit. Okay, so this could be uh, DRGN8D. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that worked. Yeah. So the name does seem to be staying. It's just for whatever reason, Harold doesn't like keeping his name. Harold's a little strange that way. Some more decor in here. Dig down. Oil balloon will eventually appear. Yeah, I just want to make sure that everything's good and stable here before we get to the point where we try to expand too far below. So from here, I can actually fire straight down. Uh, this is all hydrogen, which I'm not really thrilled about letting into the base. So I will probably do um, a bit of, of a water airlock down here before we go out into this area below. Um, and actually, this would be a good place to put like our, our, our biome suits, too. Or the exosuits, rather. Uh, this, I only want them to wash their hands on the way out. That direction left. We'll set this up for polluted water, so that'll be ready to go. Uh, and they now just have to do the one more tile down there, and they'll be all set. And since there's only one water, bo uh, one water bottler in here, there should only be one person going in and out of the door at a time. Unless they're going to pick up the junk that's sitting down there to tidy up, because they're kind of chronic tidiers. Okay, your priorities are expansion, and that's all, really. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, because I want to find that oil biome. But I want to make sure they live long enough that when we expand, they don't just die off on me. A few games ago, I lucked out and got a cold biome close by. Oh, that's cool. I, I pretty much haven't seen them anymore. What's the name of the YouTube channel that the creators show the updates for Oxygen? So they actually, they have a stream on Twitch that they do it, um, and the, the name of the company is Clay. It's, uh, it's K-L-E-I. Uh, or Clay Entertainment. So they have a channel on YouTube, but they they do the reveals and stuff during their streams on uh, on Twitch. So you can you can check that out there. Uh, and their Thursday night stream that they have every Thursday is called uh, Rhymes with Play. So definitely go check that out because there's they it's kind of cool because you can see like they have like art. Uh, it's not always uh, Oxygen Unincluded because they have other games. So like Don't Starve is another one of their games. Uh, so tonight they were showing some stuff for Don't Starve Shipwreck that they're uh, they're releasing in the beta branch as well. All kinds of cool stuff coming out for these guys. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I kind of want to do floors in here. No, no. I don't actually want to build the floor yet. I just want to mark it off. There we go. One, two, three, four. Uh, this will be a small gap down here, but that's okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build in here mostly because I just want to get this metal. Dig that out. Got lots of space down there for CO2 at least. Uh, what is the oil for in this game? There's a so a couple things. You can uh, use it to manufacture plastics. Uh, and you can also use it to create um, uh, power generation. So I don't have it I don't have it unlocked yet in the research, but there's a power generator that runs off of, of uh, fuel. So in the fossil fuels, there's the, the petroleum generator. Converts petroleum into electricity, and then you also have the oil refinery, which can converts uh, crude oil into petroleum and natural gas, which is kind of cool. And then here's your plastics manufacturer. And then you use the plastics to make things like the animal control. Um, I don't know if there's any in the environmental protection suits. But that'll be interesting. Fancy exosuits. What's wrong with the sparkling tile? Uh, they were... The, the duplicates were, were like building it, and there's, that's a graphical bug. So it's still showing the effect as though they're building it, even though they're not anywhere near it. They should add pistons so you can make creations that need blo need blocks to move. <laughs> yeah, like redstone kind of stuff. That'd be interesting. Oh, right. Uh, wait a minute. Jobs. I had somebody else that I wanted to do research. Oh, two other people. Man. Uh, seven and a seven. All right. You guys can all do the research, so that's good. Get them all set. Um, we're going to need some proper bathrooms and stuff at some point also. Oil is potentially infinite. You mean because of the little creatures that can eat the CO2 and then they poop out the oil? That might be interesting. So you could be in that hot temp and to get the crude oil. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I mean I think the exosuit protects you from uh, protects you from the these environments and then also from the hot temperatures. Hopefully, should be really neat. Actually, it'd be cool if it protects you from from magma. That'd be awesome. Uh, I'm going to build the airlock down below here because I want to go exploring soon. So down here, we'll build, uh, we'll dig all this out, and we'll turn this into a little airlock space down here. Actually, no, let's not go quite that low. This will be where our airlock will be. Research complete. Ta -da. It's nice that research is going quickly. Okay, so we have access to our environmental protection. Let's see where that 
Where does that show up? Oh, there we go. All right, Exosuit Forge uses raw metal to craft protective exosuits for duplicates. Oh, it uses metal, not even cloth. Duplicates will not fabricate unless recipes are queued. So what does this require? 480 watts of power. That's a fair amount. A gas output pipe. Okay. So I think it makes it might make CO2. Fabricates an Atmos suit. Overheat temperature 75 degrees Celsius. Oh, sweet. Exosuits can be filled with oxygen to allow duplicates to safely enter uninhabitable areas. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having them run around with these things. Um, we're going to put these for production, I guess. I don't know. They're going to produce heat, probably. So I think maybe I'll do our little exosuit production down here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, the power is going to present problems. How much power does the treadmill produce again? I don't remember. 400 watts, and this thing takes like 460 or something. So if I put another manual generator down here, and we do a double connection, then we might be able to make an exosuit. <laughs> I just want to put an exosuit on somebody. I think it'd be cool. That's an unbelievably significant upgrade. Yeah, it's it is really cool. Not only does it look awesome, but it's got a really cool if game in, uh, like effect in the game, right? Because you can go into environments you couldn't go into before, and your duplicates don't have to run back to gasp for air constantly anymore. Oh, farms. You're right. I should put some food production in. <laughs> Getting so distracted. This game is so cool. Um, I'm gonna put a farm down here. Actually, I'm going to make this one five high so I can put art above it. Uh, actually, if I don't... Hold on. If I don't dig this one, they'll be able to reach it all. There we go. I want to get some uh, some stuff in there for a little bit better decor so they're not super grossed out when they're in the farm. Because the meal ice isn't really, isn't really terribly attractive. Hey, Corp, is there a Car Mechanic Sim stream this week or next week? I actually streamed uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 last night, um, so the next one probably won't be till next week. Duplicate number nine. I think I, I made enough space for ten duplicates, I think. Yeah. Uh, all right, so learning, I don't really need to worry about that. Strength, creativity, and aesthetics, non-constructive. All right. I mean, they're a runner. Uh, it's good. The strength is good, so they can clean up at least. Let's, let's pick this one. Who wants to be a duplicate? We have space now. Who wants to be a duplicant? Uh, Lady Miga, I think, mentioned they wanted to. And I apologize if you shouted out that you wanted to be a duplicant or that you're you're making comments that I might be missing. It's a little tricky to kind of keep tabs on playing the game and following the chat at the same time. So I'm probably only picking out like one comment in like 20. <laughs> so I apologize that I might be missing a lot. Normally I like to be as interactive as possible, uh, but it is a little, little bit tougher to keep tabs. Who's not breathing right? What were they upset about? Oh, we got unrefrigerated food. I should probably deal with that at some point, too. You know what? They haven't been cleaning up this polluted water. So I'm going to change the priority on this. So they'll hopefully take care of it before it gets to be too bad. Because we're just stinking up the space up here. Oh, there's oxygen. Man, that's really good airflow in here. I'm surprised. Oh, we're cleaning up the germs. The germs! The germs are everywhere. Oh, this duplicate's looking a little messy. I'm gonna need showers for people at some point. Give it a try of renaming Harold again. Yeah, that's a good idea. So who wants to be Harold? I, I know I I know there was somebody that was originally naming him before, and I'm sorry, but I, I I completely spaced on what the name was. That's Trivaldo. Where is Harold? Where are you, Harold? There's Percy. Dragon. Hassan. Wait a minute. Another one that the name didn't keep on. That's really weird. Um, Lady Miga, I thought, was... Is that who it was? It Was that... Ellie, Dragon, Travaldo, Nails, Stinky. It's reverting the names back on me. They're not staying. Ladies Game 2. Ah, that stinks. So I think this was Lady Miga. Maybe it... I don't know. Maybe I just neglected to hit something and so it didn't keep it? I don't know. Very weird. Um, I think I missed a couple names there because of that. What else have we got here? So, Percy Harold. Hassan is late now, Lady Mega. Oh, look at that. It's not it's not changing the name in there so much. Stinky. I think this one was actually Tommy Chris. Uh, I don't know. It's oh, Okay, it updated that time. Weird. 
All right, another funny little bug. Sorry about that. <laughs> Must hit enter after typing the names now? I guess. It seems that way. But I could have sworn I hit enter for most of them, but I guess maybe not. So nails, I think this one was actually um, the Dutch, maybe? They might not be coming out exactly the same as they were before, but an Ellie was the one was not one that I named either. So I I honestly I can't remember all the names I had in here now. That stinks. And now I can't zoom in out again. <laughs> I can't interact with the game. I'm stuck on Ellie. All right, hold on. Enter. Maybe that will work. There we go. Okay. Wow. That's a funny little bug. If you're in changing the name and you don't hit enter, it locks up the mouse and everything. Okay, so we've got more research finished. Let's uh, see what else we can open up here. Filtration, air systems, distillation. I kind of want to get into the distillation because it will let me do some water purification. We have showers and stuff now, so it could come in handy that way. Medical research, temperature modulation, HVAC, home luxuries. You know what? Comfy bed. Duplicates will automatically sleep in their assigned beds at night. Uh, provide sleeping if you want a duplicate. Restore additional stamina. Well, they already have a bedroom that's giving them additional stamina, so I'm not super worried about that. Let's try to work our way maybe towards some of these fossil fuels, maybe? Meal prep? Let's go meal prep. I don't know. There's so much stuff to research in there now. It's crazy. I love it. I love it. I like this game. Chevy, you're dead inside. Why? Why so dead inside? What's uh, What are the new researches? There's a whole bunch of them in there. So there's new buildings and stuff you can make. Like down here, I started making this, but... Ooh, it's... it's Uh-oh. No gas output. What do we have to have connected to this thing, I wonder? Oh, it's only an output. Okay, so I was worried there might have to be an input and an output. So um, for now, I'm going to be really... I'm going to be really, <laughs> really not helpful... We're gonna take a gas pipe here and we'll just pump it right into this space. And we'll put a gas vent down here and say, ta-da! <laughs> I have a feeling that it's gonna let up it's gonna let out carbon dioxide when we use it. Uh, so I will ultimately have to scrub that, but this might work this might actually work out okay, because I can close this off and put a scrubber in here maybe. I'll have to pump water over to it, but eh, in the long run, I think it might work okay. What's the plastic towel good for? That's a good question. Um, let's take a look and see what the benefit of it is. Plastic tile significantly increases duplicate run speed used as floor and wall tile to build rooms. I don't know. I mean, I wonder if maybe it's germ resistant. That might be interesting. Okay, so what have we got here? So if we go plus one, what does it take? Copper ore. It does take reed fiber. Okay, so we definitely need reed, reed fiber to make that, um, which means we're going to have to dig into a swamp biome in order to get some. There's some over here. Uh, we'll let a little bit of polluted air in, but I guess that's not the worst of... That's not the worst. All right, so let's go build a ladder over here. I'm going to dig this out. Uh, I'm going to put uh, a manual airlock. We'll do a double manual airlock. Like so. And then in between the space in here, I'm going to put a little deodorizer. So any air that comes in, you know, we'll go like that. And then when the duplicates walk out, they'll fall down and splash in the water, because that's ultimately what would happen to me if I don't put something out here. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just use the airflow tile. That way I won't block things off too much. We'll go in here, and that'll get us a little bit of reed fiber. So that's going to get us one, and we'll also get some dust cap, um, which could be handy. If we build a, another farm scenario down here, we could grow some dust cap. And that might actually give me a good place to put our carbon dioxide. Probably get your farm set up so you can grow your resources sooner. Yeah, I really should. I, I keep I keep getting... I'm so easily distracted. <laughs> I can play the game. I don't want to jump ahead to the next thing all the time. Is there glass in the game yet? Um, not that I've seen. Um, although, obviously, when you make that little... The little um, exosuit, obviously, it has... It has, like, some glass on it. Because it's got, like, that glass dome that goes over your head. But How did you get mod? I remember you uh, being normal one day and logging on and you had mod. I'm not sure who you're speaking to. Iliastar, maybe? Uh, F12 shows Exosuit Overlay. The only problem is you take a screenshot also. Oh, that's weird. Exosuit Overlay. What good is that? Hold on. Where is F12 on this thing? Oh, yeah. It's a print thing at the same time. Oh, funky. 
All right, shows the location of the suit. Okay, so you actually end up like a little storage thing, and they'll go in and out and swap into the suit. But we'll have to build more of them. So down here is where we're going to build that airlock, and that's where we can put the suits. Yeah, sorry, it's hard to... Every now and then, Lady Lady Miga, I pick out like a random comment, and then I'm like, man, I'm totally lost. <laughs> Obsidian is technically glass. Uh, kind of. It's dragon glass. Uh, okay, let's go... What do we want next? Agriculture with food... Fertilizer on the side there. I want to work towards this animal control stuff. I'm kind of curious what deals with this. I think it requires plants, though. Animal, animal delivery point. Animal trap. Captures a living creature for transport. Okay, so you set, like, the place you want them to go to, and then you set the trap. And when it catches it, then they'll drop it off where the delivery point is. That's really cool. Except that I think if I make that, like, we have to get to the plastics before we can do that. So I, I probably shouldn't prioritize that. Let's work on some... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's make the air systems, I guess. Because that's where our carbon skimmer is, and I'm going to need to make use of that soon. Uh, although actually, if I if I do make a little uh, a little room down here, I can I can trap some carbon dioxide in this space, and then I can make a little mushroom farm in here, and that would be really handy. And actually, because I'm, I I want the carbon dioxide, I can probably just make some floor tiles here, and then the CO2 that's above will kind of filter down inside here. I don't know. We'll see. Ultimately, I'm going to end up pumping CO2 in there, probably just to make sure that it stays hi highly pressurized, but... I recommend you a game, Paladins. I've actually played Paladins. Uh, I tried it out when it was in, I don't know, I guess the open beta? And that was pretty fun. I can't remember if it was an open beta or a closed beta, but it was a fun game to run around and play a bit. I didn't get hooked on it, though. Uh, whereas, lately with uh, with the Fortnite Battle Royale, I've kind of been, I've been mildly addicted to that, which is... <laughs> kind of time consuming. I don't really have a ton of free time and when you, when I start to get addicted to another game that, that becomes a real challenge. There's our air up here. I'm kind of impressed with how well the air pressure is maintaining up here. All things considered. Um, the pressure here is not great and this is where I'm planning to put my farm. So I, I did I'm putting in some of these little airflow tiles which will hopefully let the oxygen spread out. But yeah you can already see it spreading a little bit better there. Uh, so that will be good there. And let's go into our food and grab planter boxes. Actually, I should see whether they change these. Plant investigation enables... Doesn't require any... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think we're good. I kind of... I'm going to make little space for these. You don't really need to, but... I, four or five. Um, excuse me. That way I can put some extra decor in here. Because I want to try and make sure that it's not... Like a super negative decor space. Our stress is like super awesome right now. We're like 0%. So clearly there's no stress issues. Oh, look. The exit suit overlays over here now. Because I built the little building. Those are algae. 6.9 tons of algae. That's... All right. So they have tons now. <laughs> That's a new... A new letter system. We're going to go with tons. It's not even just thousands of kilograms anymore. Now it's super cool. It has more characters. Oh, is it? Yeah, I know they've kind of been adding more stuff. But... Battle Royale was thinking hilarious. Definitely more of that in the future. Yeah, I had it was so funny when I was um, I, I got the chance to like blow that uh, the staircase that guy was building. I shot it out from underneath him and he fell to his death. <laughs> I, I got a good kick out of that. All right, let's plant some mealwood seed so we can get some decent farm production going here. Well, oops, nope. What's going on here? Plant. There we go. Copy settings. Get all that. Uh, we'll throw some decor in here so that they like this place a little bit better because mealwood is kind of an ugly plant and they're not really thrilled about being near it and I'm, because I left all this space here we have tons of artwork we can put in there we go uh, this spot down here I want to grow mushrooms so I'm gonna make uh, what do we need to grow the mushrooms actually I probably shouldn't have, I should have left one of these unplanted so I could double check I'm pretty sure they need to they need slime as a fertilizer so we're gonna need a tile that we can use that will actually allow for slime so we're gonna need farm tile like so. How's our CO2 in here? Ah, look at that. There's almost too much air pressure. <laughs> I can't get the CO2 down here. Uh, I might actually have to seal these openings just because it's letting too much air pressure in and let the carbon dioxide build up and filter down. 
which means down here I probably want to control my carbon dioxide buildup by sealing it in a little bit. I'm going to put a mechanical airlock down here, and we'll block this off. Uh, because this is where I'm going to put my my little uh, airlock system for them to go down into the biomes underneath. Uh, they started over here, but they didn't really do what I needed. Oh, because I didn't tell them to dig that. So that, that will get that. Uh, we'll get a couple of mushrooms out of here, which is good. Get all this stuff. We might even get two reed fiber off that, because it looks like it's already dropped some. Sweet. Slime is a fertilizer and carbon dioxide to breathe. Yeah. Gotta love plants that have to grow on carbon dioxide. Well, I guess that pretty much describes every plant, to a degree. So the tricky part is I'm gonna have to put like a slime storage maybe outside here because I don't want to I don't want to make it all nastiness in my base. All right, this will be the last duplicate we're gonna grab for tonight. We're gonna stop at ten for now. Let's see, we have three cooking, six creativity, eight digging, one immunity. Man, this is not really the best group of duplicates to pick from. Good digger, blah blah blah. I don't know. Germ resistant, I guess that's handy. And a yokel, cooking and creativity. All right, let's grab, let's grab Mary or Marie. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Who wants to be in the colony? There's no guarantees your name will stay because it clearly, when I type them in, they don't always hang around. Me, Loki Tiber. All right, Loki Tiber XDI. Enter. Again, no guarantees the name will hang out because it kind of hasn't really been so well. More research. More, more research. They're going. They're just plowing through the research. This is great. Um, internal combustion. No. Distillation. No, that's not even connected. I gotta do filtration first. Alright, whatever. We'll go that route. Waiting for one reed fiber. So if they can even... I thought it took two reed fiber. I must have found another one already somewhere. That's cool. I mean, I haven't gone out to the swamp by them, so I'm surprised I have any reed fiber at all. But I must have found at least one. Thanks for coming to check out the stream, Lady Miga. I appreciate that. Hope you enjoyed it. For anyone else who's been checking in, we're, we've got quite a few people watching the stream right now, but um, there is a Discord server that's been set up for the channel. If you do like to hang out and chat, uh, I pop in uh, pop in there to chat periodically as well. It's been a good place for people to kind of connect to uh, to play games and stuff also. Um, the, uh, the link for the Discord server is located in the bottom of uh, the video description on YouTube, and then it should also be down there on, uh, on Twitch if you're watching on Twitch. Just join. What's up? Uh, we're building a new colony, trying out the new stuff that's in the beta branch for Oxygen Unoccluded, and so far I'm really liking the changes. We found a couple of minor bugs, but really nothing that's a big deal. And uh, in terms of like the actual like the, the gameplay elements that they've changed, it looks really good. Look at that. He's running, but not moving. Trivaldo, you got skills, man. That's one That's one skillful dupe right there. Oh, look. I've got some stinky stuff in there. I've got slime. All right. I'm going to put a... I should probably pre-build a storage out here so they can put the slime in it. Where's my storage? There it is. Uh, this door I'm going to replace with a fancy door because I didn't realize I had that unlocked already. Let's grab one there. We'll do a storage compactor out here for our slime. That'd be perfect. How's the germ map looking? Pretty good. Uh, it, it's actually, the germ's not quite as prevalent. So, each individual tile, they seem to have controlled the amount of germs that could be on them a little bit more. Oh, actually, when I come out here in this polluted oxygen, they're going to breathe in a little bit of this slime lung. That's not going to be too great for them, but hopefully they won't hang out here too long. Uh, and if I put, actually, if I put a little, where are we here? Put a little air deodorizer out here, too. Maybe we'll make two of them. Uh, that'll clean up the polluted oxygen that's in here, and they'll be able to breathe a little better that way, too. Food has decayed. I gotta do something about my food storage. I don't have a good pocket of CO2 to put it in. I guess over here would work. Let's see. Food. Let's put our ration box over here for now. Actually, put it a little farther in the corner. Yeah. Let's take our ration box in the corner. It's kind of out of the way. It's really not ideal. But at least I've got some CO2 there it can be stored in. Uh, maybe mechanized door requires energy to open that quick. At least I'm curious to see what will happen. So the mechanized door, the mechanized airlock is always opened up faster than the manual airlock. And it didn't require power to go quickly. So eh, there's never really been much of incentive to use the manual airlock. But I'm curious to see whether they've changed that. 
Because they might have tweaked it. It's entirely possible. Got Slime Rancher the other day. Really enjoying it. That's uh, two great games. Yeah, Slime Rancher was actually a lot of fun. So it was actually Caitlin and um, Caitlin and Ray, I think, that were really pushing me to play Slime Rancher. And I finally grabbed that, and it was really, it's been really neat. Shroom Farm needs its wall. Yeah, I'm not not super worried about it until I get that finished. The trouble is our sh our mushroom farm has uh, has all kinds of oxygen in it. That's awful. I never I didn't really expect that. Okay, let's try to. How can I get rid of the oxygen that's in there? Okay, I have an idea. Uh, I'm going to. I feel like I've, I totally wasted some materials, but instead of uh, putting all straight tile up here, I'm going to use a mesh tile up here, and then I'm going to replace these tiles with the regular tiles. Even though I've already used the metal. And then over here, I'm going to take this uh, the ventilation coming off this machine. Because I'm, I'm not positive, but I'm fairly certain that this is going to end up being... Oh, why is that not working? Alright. I'm fairly certain this is going to wind up being CO2 that comes out of here. So I'm going to pump it into the far end of the chamber over here. And we'll use a high pressure vent. Why not? See how that works. And then... Um, Ideally, what should happen is it should fill up with CO2 in here, and it should force the oxygen out the little grill that's on this side. Hopefully. We'll see if that actually works, but... Food shortage. Well, I keep saying food shortage, but we have 10,000, and we have people that are producing food, so... It should be okay. Running into the 90s. Placing the food box was a rational decision. Oh, but a bump Because it's rations, get it? Ha ha ha. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to set it as a priority six, too, so they'll clean up the food. They should transfer it from this box down to this one, and then it should stop spoiling. Because there should be enough carbon dioxide in there. Yeah, okay, the door still opens fine without any power, so that's good. Be perfect. Be perfect. Now, nobody fall in the liquid. I'm, I'm just, I'm dreading it. Uh, you know what? I really should prioritize the floor in here. Build the floor first. <laughs> Somebody's going to fall through. Uh, this container, I just want to have slime stored in here and nothing else. And hopefully they'll pick up the slime that's up here now. Uh, and we'll copy these settings and there. So we'll have two storages that just have slime and that'll keep it outside of our... Uh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I even prioritized the floor! Alright, uh, build a ladder, priority nine. Let's get him out of there quickly, please. Actually, you know what? Forget that. The Dutch, you can just dig your way out. You don't even need a ladder. It'll take longer to build a ladder than it will to actually get you to dig out. So let's do party eight digging. You can just dig your way through. <laughs> At least he didn't fall in the liquid. That would have been disastrous. Instead, he's just going to be all covered in slime lung, which is really not good. Uh, we're going to need a ladder here, otherwise he's not going to be able to get out. And that I should prioritize. There. <laughs> I hope he doesn't get slime lung down there. That would be really bad. What is that noise? What is that noise? Oh. Oh, we got an apple suit. Yeah. Um, who should I put on it? Oh, you can't do any with the apple suit right away. Oh, there we go. Nope, that's actually to make them. Okay, so I guess I have to have the little workstation down here that actually lets you dock the Atmos suit now. So where would that be in terms of our stuff? Is that in... It's not utilities. There's our ore scrubber. Furniture stations. It's probably in station. Yeah, there we go. Exosuit checkpoint. Exosuit dock. Stores and recharges the exosuit. Build next to an exosuit checkpoint to make duplicates change into suits when passing by. So if we put our little exosuit thingy here... And then we put a little uh, exosuit dock down here. Then they should pick up the suit and put it in the dock. Temp. <laughs> you think maybe that's a temp graphic? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I love the beta stuff. <laughs> this game really has come a long way. There is so much additional complexity they've added to it, which is really neat. There's the exosuit. Look, look, temp art. I'm pretty sure this is temp art. I'm not positive, but I'm fairly certain. Um, oh. Oh, drat. So I thought it, there was actually going to be like an arrow I could pick on this the same way as you do with the wash basins, but it looks like... Uh, it looks like that's not the case. Um, because I can't I can't change it. 
Let's uh, let's deconstruct it. I'm gonna see if I can flip it around when I'm building it and make sure it's pointed the right way. Let's explore the dangerous areas. That's right. I want to send a duplicate down there in the suit. That'd be cool. And I'll set up this door so only one duplicate can go through, and then that will let us kind of control who goes down there. That way, the only person who goes down there will be wearing the exosuit. That'd be so awesome. When I saw they were adding an exosuit in the game, I was like, oh my god! Wasn't excited at all. Man, they're a little dirty over here. Oh, wow. He, he's got so many germs on him, he washed up and didn't get even get clean. Um, still got 92,000 germs on him. Kind of nice if he uh, stopped making everything else dirty. Come on, buddy. Uh, I should try to get this open up so we can get the bomb lily maybe and find out what that's good for. Chlorine would be good too. I still don't see any geysers. No geysers of any type. Okay, so this is this requires power and it requires a gas intake. What do I have to feed this thing with? Request suit. <laughs> that's so awesome. Uh, look, 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 I'm going down and put it in. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Okay, uh, no wire connected, no gas intake, empty pipe. Uh, what does this thing need? Uh, stores recharge suit, build next to exit suit, overheat temperature, contents, atmosuit. suit. It doesn't say what it needs. What do I have to feed into this? Do I have to feed oxygen into this, maybe? I guess that might be the case. Does it need to be right in, in... Well, I'm not sure exactly in terms of, like, where we want to place it. I'm going to make this, this thing here in an airlock, so they'll go in, they put the suit in when they're in the airlock. But let's see if we can build this and flip it. Yeah, okay, we can flip that. Uh, we're going to need power for this. I'm really curious what kind of a gas we have to pump into it. I wonder if it, I wonder if we need an oxygen feed. That might be interesting, because I don't have any way to do that just yet. Oh, look at that all food. All right, we can stop making this and make some lice loaf. Get a little bit better, a little bit better food quality going, and they're still putting food in the ration box. Oh, that's why. And lower the lower the priorities, so they'll swap it all over. <laughs> I know there's so many unknowns. I love new stuff. I love getting to explore new stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's nice when you know everything to do in the game because it makes it really easy. But there's just something so cool about like finding new things and have, having to figure out how they work. I get a real kick out of that. Uh, let's see if we can plant some of these fancy fungal spores in here. What's our CO2 in this space? <laughs> it's virtually non-existent. All right, clearly we did not get a lot of CO2 out of our little uh, our little suit <laughs> little suit maker. He's down here building stuff and running out of air. Little pockets of air they have, but not a lot. Okay, uh, if we check our gas overlay, so there is definitely an input pipe. Uh, you know what? If I actually check the machine, it might tell me. Um, stations, exosuit dock. Okay, power, gas intake pipe, overheat temperature. To make it's got to be oxygen. I figure it has to be. I mean, there can't really be any other gas you would want to pump into your into your suit. So <laughs> it's got to be air. It's just got to be air. Which means that I'll need a gas pump up here that we'll need to pump down below. Uh, because this is the only place I'm producing oxygen right now. There's tons of it up here, except not so much in the bathroom or this bedroom. Gee, that's not so good. Let me try to help out a little bit here. We'll do a little airflow tile here. Uh, and then I'm going to take my ventilation and we'll build a gas pump up here. Seems like such a waste. Uh, we'll send this down, or right down the ladder, assuming they can reach it. I'm going to need a gas bridge, which hopefully we can, yeah, we can build it in the ladder, so that's good. I just want to run around in an exosuit. That's all I want. I'm a simple man. All I need is my fancy spacesuit. There we go. Hopefully that'll work. We need to have ladders that you can uh, build and give Deco all the ladders you can get. Yeah, that'd be neat. Like, ladders that add decor. Well, they, they've added plastic ladders. I wonder if they increase the decor. I don't even know. This, I am not going to choose another duplicate. We'll just reject these ones, and then I'm going to turn this off for now. Uh, disable building. Although I should check our decor in this space. Man, there's so many overlays now. This is cool. Now look at that. Apparently they don't like the uh, the core coming out of this thing so much. And apparently that's pretty ugly too. But it's close enough to the gate that it's actually benefiting from the decor there. Interesting. More research. Give me more research. 
Ladders removed decor is all I know. The uh, over the plastic ones. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really curious to see what'll happen with the plastic ladders. I mean, what's the benefit of having a plastic ladder? Why would you make that over just like a sandstone ladder? You know, like I'm, it's got to do something. Maybe it's germ germ resistant. I, that's all I can think of. Maybe for the plastic stuff. Because why would you produce a whole bunch of plastics with the oil that you managed to gather, just to make like tiles and things out of it? It's, it's strange. It's got to have some benefit. Maybe it just looks cool. The great muckroot mission. <laughs> Send a dupe with the exosuit to gather that muckroot. That's right. He's got to go get his exosuit on. But I need to get the gas and stuff in here first. Over here, we're doing a good job of converting this polluted oxygen into regular clean oxygen, which helps kill off the germs. Uh, there's only a few germs flying around in here now, which is good. We got all these fungal spores. I really should plant them, but I don't want them to die right away, which I think might happen if if there's not enough CO2 in here. Do we have enough reed fiber to make another suit? Nope. Need more reed fiber. I'm going to have to make a fiber farm. I haven't had to make one. Oh, look, look, look. We found a ruin. Finally. All right. Sweet. Uh, I want to send someone out there. I kind of feel like I should have an Atmos suit. <laughs> Except that if they go past here, they're gonna change out of the Atmos suit. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. It only has one side to it when you have it next to the. I don't know. I have to see how this works. Does that mean when they go, when the kid here, they'll go into it, and when they come back, I need to have a second one so they'll take it off, or will they take it off at the same spot? That'll be interesting. Is your smoke detector getting low on battery power? Uh, nope. Not so much. I don't think. I don't hear any noises. I do want to check the ruins over here. So if we dig in here, we're going to let all this polluted water in, but that's okay because it doesn't actually, uh, it doesn't carry germs. So we'll maybe dig some of this out. Build an electrolyzer farm. I should, but um, I kind of be a little bit cautious with the water that I have because I've only got the one source of water at the moment. And there's a don't get me wrong, there's a that's a really good amount of water. But I'm not entirely sure I want to do that just yet. I should probably look at um, trying to do like a power station here at some point soon too. Uh, so I can stop running on the treadmill, and then if I use coal power generation, I could actually use the carbon dioxide in here to help build up CO2 for the mushroom farm. This is all flowing nicely. Uh, let's get a ladder up here so we can climb over this thing. And look at all this reed fiber I can collect. Yeah! This this looks an awful lot like more exosuits to me. I don't know about you. But to me, all this reed fiber says exosuit. Snazzy suits are cool too, but it's not an exosuit. I mean, come on. Arrogate should be the last thing before they go out into a non-oxygenated area. And maybe. I don't know. I'm going to test it out. I might need an arrogate on either side. So when they go through this way, they'll put the suit on. And when they come back the other way, they take the suit off. I mean, who knows? <laughs> I don't think the flatulent dude will fill the exosuit with natural gas. Although, I feel like that's a reasonable question. But I saw actually a screenshot of somebody who had their duplicate throwing up while they were wearing the exosuit. And the vomit was just coming right through the head. Uh, like right through the uh, the glass dome that covers their head and was going all over the floor anyway. I kind of felt like it was a little weird. They almost should have been like drowning inside their helmet or having to like take the helmet off to throw up. Um, but for now, they just puked right through the glass, which was kind of funny. I think it would be neat to see them take their helmet off so they could throw up. In a kind of a sort of a sick and, sick and sadistic way, I guess. Um, maybe do advanced power regulation. Why not? We're getting all the research done. We can make all the stuffs. It'll be good. I do wonder if it's a building glitch with those sparks. Oh, it definitely is. That's um, that's where they were building. And, and I had a second one. There's two of them, yeah. So they were building it, and the sparks just stayed there. It's like they're building it infinitely now. Okay, we have access to our little thing. Let's touch the security door and submit a sample. Who's going to be our lucky duplicate that gets whatever is in here? This should be a brain machine one, judging by the size and shape of it. Uh, oh, they didn't give enough good enough sample. Really? Submit another sample. Oh, come on. Just go touch the door. <laughs> They're defying me. They're like, no, we're not going in there. I'm going to do something to my brain. I don't like it. 
Animal control. I would like to do the animal control, but we haven't found an oil biome yet, so I can't even produce the plastic, so we need to make the thing for trapping the animals. Which I feel like is kind of important. Ooh, look, we got to... Hold on. Hold on. Where are you going? Ladies, game two. You're going to be our lucky candidate today. Uh, let's move you over to here. Did that work? Yeah, there we go. Pick you again because you might not might not want to walk all the way in. Okay, let's see what what have we got in here? Brain machine. Yep, there we go. Ladies, game two. You can go on the brain machine. Let's see what you get. I kind of hope you get the strength buff, just because that's not something you normally train. So I mean, if we can make you like super strong, that'd be cool. Where are you going? <laughs> get on the machine. Nothing new with the inspection thing. A massive synthetic brain suspended in saline solution. There's a chair attached to the device. With room for one person. How very cryptic. You can do what with the critters? So they have a little trapping thing. Uh, you can trap the critters now and move them to different places. So maybe you want to create like a little farm for your hatches. You can define. You can tell it where you want the farm to be. Set traps and catch the hatches, and then it carries them over there and drops them off. And then you have like a place to control your your uh, your little critters, which would be really cool. I feel like you should be over here. Why aren't you over here getting on this machine? She's just not listening to me. No, no, forget it. I'm not going over there. Can't make me do it. Uh, let's see. Next research, I guess. Um, bah, 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 bah. I don't even know. Eh, let's do temperature management. The neuro thing's bugged. Oh, no. I can't do any neuro things. Oh, man. I kind of wanted to make the big brain jobby. Oh, well. We found it, at least. So if when they fix the bug, then hopefully we'll be able to use it. Uh, in the meantime, I guess it'll just be another decorative piece. Okay, we have... Incorrect souk checkpoint. Okay, so the, the checkpoint is definitely wrong. So we'll change this around. They deconstruct this for me. So I guess that makes it easy. It actually tells you when you're wrong. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> a game that tells you when you've made mistakes. I like that. I think the locker should be the last thing before entering the danger zone. Um, maybe. I, mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think if I move the checkpoint to the other side, then they can put the suit on. Um, and then maybe what I should do is have my little, have my little airlock room ready here. Let's do uh, some fancy tile work in here. Close all this off. Look at that. We got our. Looks like that. We'll have our, our own little airlock. With no oxygen production, so that's maybe not the coolest thing. <laughs> I could actually do a little offshoot of this and we'll pump some air down here. Hold on. Uh, if I do ventilation, I can do a gas pipe right here. We'll do a gas vent. And we'll build up we'll build up um, oxygen pressure in here so that when they come through, we'll have oxygen. Oh, uh, you don't really need to accept I can just hit this. So, yeah, I, I guess it's that way. So, you're, I guess you're supposed to put it on this side. <laughs> the little little cartoony thing. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. I want to put this thing on. Where's, um... I think it's a suit checkpoint. Like so? I think that's how it goes. Looks like it. I think we're good. Once they build that, we'll be able to put a suit on. Use fridges. It uses stores. Oh. Yeah, but the, the, my only trouble is that I've only I've only got a single treadmill producing power. Use the high pressure gas vent. I'm not super worried about it down here. I actually want it to stop pumping gas down here when it fills up with oxygen. Oh, except it's not pumping anything at all. <laughs> That's a minor requirement. Let's get some power in here. Sweet. This is all working well. We've actually we're getting a decent amount of food here, but it's only just kind of keeping up with their food requirements. I probably should tell them not to eat the meal ice since I'm making bars out of it. <laughs> That's so neat. Oh look, what? What? Why is the atmosphere out there? Request suit. Go pick up the suit. We'll dig this out here too. Oh, that's got it. <laughs> he put it on for like a second. All right, so that's got to be a bug. There's, is there another atmosphere sitting out there? 
I guess it is. I need a second room for it. I forgot I had uh, more than one. I built a second suit. All right, let's... I I've clearly done something wrong here. Let's get rid of this little door. I've built this thing like so many times. <laughs> if I could mess up a little bit better, that'd be great. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this and I'll put another, I'll put another little, another little station here. I love how they cheer when they take it on and off. Okay. If I put it over here, I wonder if, um, the, the suit thing needs to be immediately next to it. I know, this is sorry, this is like a lot of silly, silly experimentation at the moment, but. Survey says. It does actually have to be next to it, Okay. Deconstruct. Uh, uh, and then in our ventilation, we'll need... Oh, you know what's really interesting? That's actually an interesting little bug. Did you notice how I didn't have any I didn't have any oxygen pumped in there, but he was still putting the suit on? I think all you have to do is connect the pipe to it, and it could actually be connected to nothing and would probably still work. I'm pretty sure that's not as intended. Checkpoint is probably best by the door. You're probably right. I really should... I'm going to maybe put like enough for four suits or something in here. Um, that way, I can make a whole bunch of suits. We got a whole bunch of duplicates going. <laughs> I want to get like a whole spacesuit army. Duplicates running everywhere wearing the spacesuits. I w I'm actually, I'm really curious to see how long the oxygen will last. Can you put them in spacesuits and then destroy the thing that makes them get out of the spacesuit so they're just infinitely with air and you never have to produce oxygen again? Use the fridge as it has more food. I know th I know the fridge store has more food, but it also consumes power, and I have a single treadmill that I'm using right now. So until I actually set up a power station, I'm not really worried about how much food it's how much the fridge stores, because honestly, I'm not even coming close to filling these boxes up. Why are they still using this thing? Party four. This one should be priority six. Party seven. Move it all over there. There's just something so much... I, I don't know what it is. I really like these little suit things. I'm like a kid. Just a giant kid. Uh, let's see. If they put the suit on in an oxygen environment, it would be filled with air? Well, I mean, you're pumping air into the, the base of these things. Oh, it's got a little indicator that shows how, how much... Maybe how much air is in it. But it's stopping at this first one. I feel like that might be a bug. Oh, there's no power. That's what the problem is. Okay, hold on. So we need power in each of these. <laughs> there's no way I'm producing enough power to manage all this. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe that's not the oxygen meter. Maybe that's the power meter. Normal gas vents overpressurized. So they got lots of good oxygen in here, at least. What is he doing? Why are you just standing there? <laughs> Do something useful. Yeah, I've got it all connected, but I'm not showing any power. That's a little weird. Why is there... I can't believe I'm... I have one treadmill running to produce 400 watts of power, but I'm drawing power all over the place. I don't feel like that should be enough. Not configured. No suit checkpoint. No suit checkpoint. But that's the checkpoint right there. How? So, it's showing that you can have multiple suit storage areas and then a checkpoint. And that's what I have. I have multiple suit storage areas and then a checkpoint. Um, do I have to request suits for these? Why does it say I don't have a checkpoint? Not configured, no suit checkpoint, empty pipe. Uh, maybe it's the empty pipe that's the problem. Okay, I might have to re... Oh no, there it goes. So it's definitely feeding air in there. We have two suits now, but we have no way to put them on. That's going to take a little tweaking. <laughs> Fridges, work with, with, uh... Fridges work like the ration boxes, but not powered. Just sort of... The... Well... I... Ultimately, it doesn't really matter. I'm not I'm not short on food storage right now. I could build another one, but it would be just for the sake of making one. Is the max two? I, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe I got overzealous and I need to deconstruct these and see what happens. It could. Maybe it is. I mean, maybe this is a very literal picture. Maybe you really have to have a checkpoint for every two. 
I don't know. It's good to experiment, though. I like playing around with that. Assign the checkpoint. Uh, well, it seems to just deconstruct, and it doesn't look like there's like any way to actually assign it. It's just, it's like, it's all about the proximity of it. <laughs> I'm like building and destroying these things over and over and over again. Uh, all right, so let's <laughs> let's let's destroy the checkpoint yet again. Can you set no suit for the other two, or is it max two? I, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna try and we'll set up the uh, we'll set up the checkpoint here, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, if they build this, then these two suits will work. I don't know. It'll at least be next to one of them, so we'll have one suit they can put on. Okay, yeah, so it satisfied the two of them, and you get a little green arrow that shows that it's ready, good to go. Okay, so let's um, let's do a little digging now. Um, ladies game two, you can, you'll be our, our little guinea pig. So let's set this door so that the only people that can go through it are... Default this way. Let's do ladies game two can go in here. And then I have a second suit, so who wants to be our other candidate here? Let's grab, um, let's grab this Loki. Okay, so they can be our two our, our two little guinea pig duplicates, and we'll send them out in the environmental suit. It looks like there's another another ruin down there. Dig straight down. Let's see what we find. The cool thing is with the little suit, they won't have to. I won't have to worry about like giving them little oxygen rooms they can stop in to breathe because the suit will let them breathe in the environment. That'll be super cool. By the way, no food. How do I have no food? That doesn't even seem possible to me. All right. I guess I'll have to make some mush bars. Thank you for pointing that out. I need a bigger farm for the number of duplicates I have. Uh, it would be nice to get the mushrooms growing in here, but I just... Okay, actually, the air level is getting down here now, so this might work. Uh, we can plant fungal spore in here. And copy the settings. And I think we I think we have a couple fungal spores that we can go pick up out here. So if they get those planted, they produce a really, really nice amount of kilocalories. <laughs> oh, look at that! But they're still having to go in and out. I guess because they have to eat, maybe. Those, those little suit things are so cool. Come on. Yeah, we've technically hit the end of the end of our stream, but I want to dig down a little bit and see if we can find something first, quickly. Uh, I'm not super worried about picking research. We'll do that after. Um, I just want to try and dig down and see if we can find a swamp biome. Or, or not a swamp biome, but an oil biome. I may end up playing this game again on Saturday night because I'm super I'm super excited to gotta dig into it. I don't know I'm gonna be able to leave it alone until next Tuesday. So uh, for now, let's assume that there's gonna be a stream on Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time, and we'll play some more of uh, some more oxygen unoccluded so we can play around some more with this beta branch because there's no way I can leave this alone for more than a couple days. So I think I'll, I'll, I'm going to leave it for now. So we're not going to get all the way down to the to uh, to an oil biome tonight, unfortunately. But um, we did manage to kind of dig in and build a, a, a couple cool new things. Uh, I'm super happy we managed to get the suits working. So we get some little duplicates running around in suits. That's <laughs> that that strikes me as so novel I can't even begin to express it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's cute and it's cool. Uh, but we'll come back on, uh, I'm going to stream again on Saturday night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. So if you happen to be around and you'd like to watch some more Oxygen Not Included with the new beta branch for the oil upgrade that's coming out, um, I'll be playing it again on Saturday night. And then the normal stream that I have for Oxygen Not Included is normally Tuesday nights at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. So I'll be playing that again next Tuesday, of course. Um, but because I just can't wait, I'm going to play this Saturday too. Uh, but thanks everyone for coming to check out the stream. I do hope you enjoy the uh, enjoy the the stream and the videos, and uh, that you'll come back and check out some more. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, maybe you can click on the subscribe button so you get notifications uh, for when we do stream and when I upload some other videos. Uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel, there is the sponsor button at the top of the chat. You can click on there as well. Uh, if you do subscribe to the channel, I recommend clicking on the little bell just to make sure that you get the notifications, because otherwise it doesn't always send them out. It's kind of an odd system, but that's sort of how it works. But thank you very much for everyone who came out, uh, and those of you who were active in the chat. I'm sorry I didn't catch everything you were saying, but there's kind of a lot that flies by. I do hope you come back and check out the next stream. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.